Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is the Lauren Identity. I love Lauren Armstrong's ass. <laughs> I like how polite. All right, you got it. Um, my attorney uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> my attorney said that uh, I should ask for a continuance. Um, I still have my hand up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Still under oath right now. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Bully Comment Corner presented by Blue Boy. Can you beat this mean comment during today's segment? We will be voting in the chat and the winner will win a $50 Amazon gift card. I love it. Oh, is that TLI? No, that was Sloth Cat. <laughs> what? Look, man, start this damn video. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Monique Rose on YouTube. Long when we agreed to break up, I went out on a date with Rod that night and he told me he wanted to give it another shot. I don't know what to do. I'm in love with two men. Oh my fucking word. What is Can you say? use the toilet paper in the back to wipe your tears, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Wait, what is is this the toilet here or is... that? So he and that corner was supposed to be Jamie's makeup desk, and he installed a paper towel holder to the wall, and oh, there was going to be like a sink in the corner. He had a pink sink. So I don't the, I don't know how paper towels come into play. I don't well, do my makeup. Wipe her, he's gotta wipe, wipe her, her porn makeup off, which I he would assume would be very heavy. Lots of gotcha. Well, that's as far as he got. He he because you know how Lauren is. He you know how he he made the business cards for for Boo and Bear Septic. Never started the business. Well, I just you wonder know, why he starts he... with the easy stuff. <laughs> well, if I'm saying why why would he start with why would he put that up before he even put the sink in? You're you're. You're what are you doing, Wes? This you yeah. put that on there because you got to start somewhere. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, sh- it lets her know that there's some progress being made. Yeah. The easy thing. Get the easy things done first. Save the hardship. <laughs> and what's going on? Uh, real, real can, Blue Bay, what was the lead up? What was the lead up to this? Um, Lauren got permission to Skype or, uh, with the girls. And we were like, well, this is going to be the end because obviously we can't get on camera with him. Um, so reborn just decided like well, this is try to piss him off because you know we want to get that on camera and because it was going to be over we just assumed it was going to be yeah. over after this I, I think it was over fairly soon after this anyways because he kept pestering being like you got to get on cam you got to get on cam you got to get on cam and you, you can't because uh we're a couple you know, of guys yeah. <laughs> just a couple of guys <laughs> the ai technology didn't oh uh, was there any was Go ahead. No, it didn't exist yet, Softcat. We couldn't use AI. Otherwise, we were going to do it. I I was going to, like, we were experimenting with ways to kind of, like, get around it. So I put tape over my camera to blurt out, and I was, like, going to use, like, a T-shirt as a wig because it kind of looked like hair, and I just (laughs) didn't even bother with it. Wait, so is that really reborn just use that tape? Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay, so and this... then reborn, obviously, like he he couldn't pull it off because he he can't even pretend to look like this woman even with tape. It didn't look right. Yeah. So um, this had been in the works for how long? Uh, like this. Be- like how long was he mentioning this before no, this call because actually... I imagine this call would have had would, did this call have to be approved by probation for him to get on a video call or did he did he yeah need he permission? already had permission to do this okay so he he did have to ask okay did it have to be scheduled or he just had to ask and it was something you guys can do at any time we were able to do it at any time he just had okay. to ask all right all right anyone else anything I'm trying else? to think if there's anything else um I don't think so. I don't think I there's anything else. I guess <laughs> All right. Well, you can just tell, save that for later. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll let you guys know in a minute. She said the other night that she broke up with me. She went on a date with Rod. Mm-hmm. And he wants to get back together with her. And she oh. doesn't know what to do because she's in love with two men. I heard she <laughs> told me she's in love with Rod. I like how he just repeats everything Jamie just said. Jamie, I don't know how you could do this. Yeah. Why would you ever bring that piece of shit into our relationship in it to begin with? It's so confusing. <laughs> What's so confusing about it? You brought him into our relationship. How many times did I beg you to get rid of him? Get him together. I, I told you he needs to go, Jamie. Whether, whether we were together or not, we were together. What? You brought him in. <laughs> that was then. This you. is now. This is now. He still needs to go. Casey doesn't like him either. Yeah. I, I do I don't know what to say. Jamie, you keep spending time with that guy. All it does is hurt us. Mm. (laughs) This was not the call he was expecting. (laughs) No, he, he was so excited to see them on camera. And then we also just kind of had to we were acting like we, him, like Reborn and I were able to see each other. We were acting like it had to ha- be on Lauren's end. Why couldn't see us? Because we would be like, yeah, we can, I can see Jamie clearly. She can see me clearly. And we just act like Lauren was the blurry one. <laughs> it it would make more for, sense for it to suck on his end. Yeah. And that worked. <sighs> Once. I just don't see how he still falls for this. He He's super desperate. I knew it's that... It's, like like I said with the T-Cat Predators who FOMO dig. 
Yeah, you can see you can see three different decoys, or, or the dude. There was a dude in Vegas, a Vegas Sting, who drove up while someone was getting arrested in front of the house. He called the decoy, said, "I'm not coming over because I saw someone get arrested in front of the house." She's like, "No, nah, that was a that was my neighbor. He was selling weed in front of the house. The cops arrest him. He's like, all right, I'll be there in five minutes." <laughs> he goes back over. He goes back over. He's in a stolen Air Force truck. Oh, and God, and really? the, so the police, are, they don't even want the dude to get out of the car because there's someone else in the house. He sees them. He tries to drive away, crashes into another police car. They pull him out. And he said he ran because he didn't want to have to talk to Chris Hansen. I mean, the, uh, the show had yeah. been off the air for like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so thank you for the background info on that. Because uh, I had always wondered about that. It needs to go, Jamie. I, I, I'm, I'm floored that you ever let him that fucking close to you. What are you looking at? Anything. I thought it was just dinner before he said goodnight. He leaned and kissed me and said he loved me. Wow. Mm-hmm. You, you tell that motherfucker if he ever leans in and touches you again, I'm going to knock his fucking ass out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock it until he's in the ground. <laughs> how, how are you going to do that? Oh, you're going to kill him. You're going to kill him. Yeah, good good idea. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to murder him. Uh, and he also wore his best fucking tank top for this. Uh, yeah, it doesn't this. bother looking nice whatsoever. Well, this is this is true. that's the formal tank top, yeah. Right, right. Well, yeah, this is the one you wear to a funeral because it doesn't say <laughs> black. roses on the back, it's just plain black. Mm. There's no pocket on it or anything. This is a plain black formal tank top, <laughs> and it's the one you use for murder, too, because the blood doesn't show on exactly. it. Exactly. CTLI knows, I, I get it. I'm, I'm familiar with uh, different kinds of tank tops for different occasions. In the ground, yeah, yeah. Put his head right in the ground. Boom, bitch. Ostrich style. I don't know how you could do that, Jamie. I'm in love with two men. <laughs> this hasn't happened to me before. It's so confusing. And a woman. And a boyfriend. <laughs> There's nothing confusing about it, Jamie. You're it you and I, game, I swear. It was you and I long before Rada was ever in the picture. That was then. This is now. Yeah, Rod's that hot. That was then. This is now. Yeah. You yeah. brought this on yourself. It is fucking ridiculous. Why would you ever let him get so close to you? I did. I do. You didn't have him <laughs> Good before. Luck. I mean, just three fucking months ago, Jamie, you told me that you loved me. You was going to tell Three Ron months ago? 90 days <laughs> ago? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been three months since she said I love you to him. That's crazy. What? Still holding her to that is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I can love more than one person. Mm-hmm. Well, he needs to go. Yeah. Well, and you're fucking him. <gasps> That's gotta be confusing when you're working and you're having sex with the person you love. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Good, good one, Casey. Yeah, it's trying That's to make one, yeah. trying to make one's feelings hurt as much. Yeah. As well. Yeah, you're really planting some, really planting some seeds there because Lauren wasn't even thinking about that. Right. Part. And now they're they're not do their love fucking. Yeah, this That's ain't just the, work fucking. They're love fucking now. This ain't money fucking. Yeah. Uh, now those money shots, dude, those are love money shots. Yeah, yeah, this and passionate. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> there may be seven guys, but only one loves. Them. <laughs> <laughs> and that one guy's TLI. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so only one of these dicks up. is in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's mine. Tell me you love me. Uh, she's busy, T.L.I. <laughs> well, tell her to say when she's done. <laughs> oh. 
You need to get rid of him, period. Oh, my God, man. Tell him to take his contract and stick it up his ass. I can separate work and personal feelings. Well, you didn't. And you didn't. You did it and you didn't. (laughs) 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 Why is he not catching up with him? Because he's got a bad a bad mind. Yeah, he's in the one track he, right now. He's all he's thinking about is what he's gonna say next. Like, where can I dig down? To, I'm gonna say something that that hurts her, so she knows how I feel. He's not hearing anything right now, other than that. And also making sure he looks hot on the camera, just to making sure he's got the kissy face going there. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, yeah. He, he can't. He, he got to do what he got to do. He can't help him. Steel. Yeah. You know, yeah. Look at that. With that hat on, he looks 35 years old. 36 tops. Yeah. yeah. Take the hat off, though. Well, but keep 75. it on. <laughs> Did you tell him that you love him? Uh-oh. Drum roll. All the... He told me before if I don't follow the contract, he will sue me. <laughs> 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 uh, Rob loves her, but the, he's still about the money at the end of the day. Yeah. Contract law is still contract law at the end of the day. He just waves it in front of her face. Don't forget. <laughs> I love the contract too. <laughs> Gee, he really loves you, doesn't he? Well. I mean, Lauren would do the same thing if he What's actually got a lady to marry him. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. He'll pull out that marriage contract all the time. Remember, <laughs> he'd, be like, he'd be like Robert Reese talking about adultery is illegal, so you admit you broke the law. <laughs> 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 so you admit so you're, you're, you're a criminal. <laughs> so you admit you broke the law and cheated on me. That's what you're admitting on camera? <laughs> Somebody they love. That was before last night. Oh, no. <clears throat> so what had happened uh, last the night prior? Is this when the date had happened, Blue Boy? Yeah. So was the plan going into this call just to piss him off as much as you could because you knew it was going to end? Yeah. And was there yeah. a loose outline or was it just like, just go? No, we were just winging it. There's really never an outline. Or I guess there's an outline. But we, we and we have like things we want to talk about, but we rarely ever do that because Lorne. Yeah. Y- yeah, it's hard to stick to one thing with Can him. I tell but... you what, what I would have done that would have been funnier. Yeah, tell tell me. I love comments like that. I would have hung up on them <laughs> every time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every every t- every That's call. That's my favorites. Three seconds. It would have been Lorne saying hello and then hang up. <laughs> That's comedy. <laughs> I would have hung up on him. Like, yeah, and then you wouldn't have gotten the call, bud. I love that comment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's what I would have done if I (laughs) if I did this entire thing myself. (laughs) You can call Lauren up and do it. Well, no, but here's the thing though: as soon as he picks up, I'm gonna hang up. Yeah, that sounds hilarious. That'll show him. (laughs) Break the fucking contract, Jamie. Get rid of his dumb ass. You brought all this on yourself. She's in love with him. He's forgetting that part. We wanted to get him to either yell at her or cry on video. Yeah. Is this the only video, th- the, the only throuple call video? There might be one more. But I don't think, there is one more, but it's not very good. Well, I mean, it's it's you and Reborn. I mean, you know, they're so only it sucks. so good Yeah, it's good. pretty bad. <laughs> like I said, there's just not enough hanging up for my, for my life. <laughs> <laughs> How much money could he possibly sue you for? Uh oh, let's hear it. I got like Lauren. She doesn't want to get sued, man. Yeah, like, what? He's like, is, is he going to cover it? Right, like to make her him yeah. comfortable, she needs to break the contract and get sued. Well, he's probably going to. If she said seven thousand dollars, he'll say you have the money. Just buy yourself out of the contract, and I'll pay you back. <laughs> After my septic business is up and running. I just got to get the money from mom and Aunt Sharon. Yeah. Lauren 
Mike 100K. Oh, that's it. Don't cry, Lauren. I'm not crying. Um... Say, don't cry. <laughs> that's what Just that off. was. She fucking would never fucking listen to me. Don't fall in love with someone. I told you. I don't understand. It. Is, this is what he does. Like when when he's on the phone I with his catfish. Ask, but... This is what he's doing. He's just sitting in this chair, but he's naked. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that weird to think? Jesus Christ, yeah. Like, Lauren's entire life is in this closet. He just sits there on the phone. Wait, this is a closet? Yeah, this is the this is that walk-in closet he was building for Winnie, oh. then Jamie, then, you know, whoever. With the toilet this is as far as it got. He gives a tour of it in the other video. And um, there's, like, a bear bulb hanging from the ceiling. Nice. And... Lauren's t-shirts are on like a rack but then he put a desk in there and well you have a desk in the closet well you have to and then Jamie's makeup desk is supposed to go in there somehow I don't know so there's an office desk and a makeup desk in the closet yeah it, it doubles as a as an office for Lauren's business <laughs> <laughs> is this business being a drunk pedophile because if so business is very good it's booming yeah <laughs> This is where Lauren takes all the calls for his palette business. <laughs> Just naked on with the Bluetooth in. Oh, that's great. For this. Well, you did ask for it, Jamie, because you kept letting him in. Yeah. I love the you unpainted walls in the closer. bedroom. Nice. Yeah, that's really closer and closer and closer. 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 To the point where he was sleeping in your fucking bed, for Christ's sakes. I mean, Lauren, Lauren... He was sleeping in her bed, and and now you have a problem with it. In Lauren's defense, I, I rarely take. He, he did have a problem with it at the time, <laughs> but th what is he going to do? Break up with her? That yes, is preposterous. Well, that, that, well, that's what I'm saying. So, so they were sleeping together in the same bed, and now she's saying that she's in. How? how no, 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 no. He really be. Um, Rod had to stay the night, so Jamie first they were going to share the bed. Lauren got mad, so no, then the I remember. Plan, I remember the whole argument about where he was going to sleep. That he was going to sleep in the champagne room. Wasn't his his bag in her room? Yeah, he was going. So the the plan then became she was going to sleep on the floor, and Rod was going to have the bed. <laughs> it was like this whole slumber party argument, and Lord is so pissed off. But what ended up happening at the end of that? How was that resolved? It didn't get resolved. It never does. Does he know? So where did Rod, uh, Rod end up sleeping that night? In the bed. And where did Jamie sleep? On the floor. <laughs> I hope great he, host. I hope he doesn't roll off the bed. And, and into her vagina? And, 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 I mean, if she's laying the right way. and he Right. He gets hard, way, rolls over. Exactly. That can happen. And you know, it probably wouldn't be on accident either. He would, he would do all the math. <laughs> Oh, God, even worse if she's laying on her stomach. Oh <laughs> my God! Nightmare. Oh my goodness! Because you know he knows all about velocity and stuff, so he's gonna know exactly <laughs> how to roll. <laughs> Come down the right angle, slide right in. And you wanted him to. <laughs> that's what you wanted. You were waiting for it. <laughs> but I wasn't in the bed. He, he never should have been in the goddamn bedroom. His eyes. He looks so crazy. He looks like a clay fighter. He never should have been in the Oh, he does. <laughs> he does look like a clay fighter. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great reference. Yes, he does. Yeah, why, Jamie? You were supposed I was to just do watching one videos thing. about that yesterday. Clay fighter? <laughs> yeah. 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 Why were you watching clay fighter videos? I don't know. It popped up on the worst fighting games. Wow. That's, that's a great fighting game. Incorrect. Are you kidding me? No. It's disrespectful as hell. Yeah. Go look Shaq at it again. Shaq Fu is the worst fighting <laughs> game. And we'll, and that's it. No <laughs> argument. It was killing me. Well, then you just kept bringing him in closer. And closer and closer. He's a good man with a good heart. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, tell him to take his good heart and yeah, come on. go shove it up somebody else's cunt. Boom. Shove oh. your heart up someone's cunt. Hey, Rod, shove your heart up someone's cunt. Talk about a heart on. What? Oh, that was yeah. okay. That's on one screen. <laughs> <laughs> a gift from Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. 
time limit on your group meeting. I didn't know there was. I didn't know. All right, back to the back to what you're doing, Lauren. Look how he easily his autistic oh, ass just like, gets distracted. Look at his, his oh. beady eyes. I didn't know there was, there was a time limit either. Okay, back to what we were doing. <laughs> Ah, uh, get from right zone. <laughs> so, well, you you have the time limit on your group meeting. It's the time, but it's done now. It's done now, Lauren. Now, back to what I was doing. Jamie. I love you. Oh, nice. Come on. I. Jamie? <laughs> Since when have you and I ever been done? Yeah. Plenty of times. How could you possibly think that? We went six months and we still didn't want to be away from each other. I waited for you for six months hoping you'd call. I love how he always assigns feelings. To I love whenever you... Sorry to interrupt you, but every time you pause it, his face is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just... I, I, I He's always assigned feelings to other people ever since Kayla mm. you like you like when I get up because you get to see my you know like he would just tell her what she was thinking and how mm -hmm. she was feeling he he, he loves the stupid he loves being part. complimented well but he'll compliment you he'll compliment himself for you right he's fishing for it and be like you you like my my penis TLI loves looking at my ass when I walk by TLI TLI do you like re uh, 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 Lauren's ass do I like his ass? Yeah, it's it's all right. Can I've you say can you say I I'm TLI and I like Lauren Armstrong's ass? Hi, good evening, everyone. My name's the Lauren Identity. I love Lauren Armstrong's ass. <laughs> I like how polite. All right, you are got it. it. There was even an intro like Hi, "Good evening, everyone." What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's up? I enjoy that nation. I love his ass. <laughs> you not remember remember me telling you that? But he acts like, yeah, like you said, like they were both waiting for six months to like get back in touch with each yeah, other. Yes. Like, like that conversation happened where she said we were gone for all I could think about was you for six months. Right. And and I was I'm so glad that we're in contact again because <clears throat> I wanted to be with you. And then he would say, I wanted to be with you, too. Then you have this mutual agreement that but that, that's never that kind of stuff is never said to him. He'll just assign it to you. Well, because we're talking now. So obviously you miss me the entire six months, too. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, why would we be talking now? And it, even if, or the, like uh, how he said, like I was waiting, like you had no choice but to wait. You have no one. What do you mean you were waiting? Because anyone that would have came along, he would have talked to. What about the girl at Walmart that he offered the job to? Yeah, good point. Right before they did the code pedo, and uh, he was swarmed <laughs> by security and escorted out of the store. Is being followed around by another Walmart employee. <laughs> they, they call Roy in the escort about that. That's when apparently that's what happens. They have a Walmart employee follow him around, yeah, <laughs> just to make sure he's not chatting up random people. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> if he start, he starts talking to someone. They step in with the ruler. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Just a and little his solution was ass. I'll just go to the Waterville Walmart. <laughs> like right, man. Yeah, because word hasn't traveled to Waterville that he's a predator yet. And Waterville and Cornville are not really that close together. It's like a 40-minute drive. Well, there's like 28 people between the two. <laughs> of course they know who Lorne is. Of course they know. They have TVs. They saw Dateline. They know who right. this fucker is. They were like, hey, isn't that kid who used to be really great at basketball until he became a pedophile? Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, they were stories of his basketball prowess did reach as far as Waterville. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? It's Saturday night and you're bored, dry, and ready to shop. You could take another basic bath and cry like a little bitch. Or head to Perry's Hunky Halloween Pool Party and Auction, presented by Attorney Wes Most. I'm going to give Reseda the wildest pool party, garbage auction, and sleepover it's ever seen. And at midnight, we're dropping the new microwave on the credenza. But wait, there's more. Listen, Perry's tattoo is legacy content. If we can raise $10,000 for the RC Foundation, Chris Hansen will come by to scrape the snowboarder tattoo from Perry's arm with a putty knife. Perry's never snowboarded. Call now. Spots are limited. If you want to see those cocks, Run! Don't walk! Smoking and Tony Hawk are allowed. My homosexual gang and I are coming. 
I wanted to be your friend in the beginning, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. It doesn't mean that I still didn't say the words that I said. <laughs> what? Well, because Lawrence said he loved her and he wanted to get back together, and that's all that matters. Everything yeah. he says is just a stalker person. <laughs> Jamie, I'm asking you right now. Do you want to get back together with me? You asked me a question. What was it? I'm asking you a question right now. Do you want to get back together no, with before me? before that. I don't remember now. I mean, she you just asked her if she wanted to get back together with you, and she said no. The other question... That would tell me right there that she's not interested in the getting back together question either. Well, especially, I don't, does he think that if she says yes, that means she's not going to still be in love with Rod? Like, that issue doesn't go away. It does. It does. Because if you're <laughs> going to be with Lauren, you're going to be with Lauren only. So if you're going to love Lauren, then you're going to let... I mean, it. that didn't stop her before. She's still fucking Rod for work. Well, look, they can, they can money fuck. They can money fuck. They can't, they got to stop the love fucking. I keep forgetting that, yeah, you can separate the two. You gotta separate them. So, you know, the positions have to change. Just <laughs> doggy and the other one. Yeah, just regular <laughs> style. Of to put it. Yeah, doggy and regular. Yep. <laughs> Country boy style where you just move your arms. I think his Lauren, had, Lauren knows regular style and he knows girl on top. Yeah. Girl on Although, top. That's the other one. That's Okay, there's two, guys. I'm sorry. There are two. Regular style and uh, and girl on top. He like one step away from caveman. Like. <laughs> Dude, look at his face. He is so. This was not the call he was expecting all day when he was thinking about it. He thought I like the sunglasses are falling off the hat too. You know, he probably thought. I mean, he knew he wasn't going to see any any nudity because he couldn't, right? But there was definitely going to be some flirtiness. Yeah, he thought this was going to be a blast. Oh, dude, this was gonna be some kissy noises. Yeah, little, little some ooh, we I'd buy that for a dollar type shit, and we're not getting any of that. He's just getting his heart <laughs> ripped out of his chest, and he can't even see Casey. <laughs> <laughs> That's his problem. That his computer sucks. <laughs> Go wiggle your antenna, Lord. You know, you want to know something funny? So I was doing this on my phone. And then I had to do something for work on Zoom, and I logged in and forgot that it said Casey Morrow, and I went the whole meeting with him saying Casey Morrow. Oops. <laughs> and no one even questioned No it. one even said anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had to do with Rod. I had to, I, uh, huh? had to do with Rod. Why would you have let him in that close to you? Yeah. That cl that question? No. Why would you have I let him in your house? So. Huh? I heard did you tell? Oh, did you yeah, did you tell Rod that you love him? Yes. Pause for as long as possible before answering this, please. <laughs> Let him sit there. I did. In the moment, it was hard not to. I did. I did. In the moment, it was hard not to. You in the throes of passion. Tell someone you love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're just making out. They're making out. He told her that he loved her. They had a kiss. He said, I love you. And then she responded back, I love you. That is the kind of story that Lorne wants to tell the grandkids that he's legally not allowed to be around <laughs> one day. And and now Rod is getting his happily ever after. Yeah. He'll, tell, he'll tell his grandkids over Zoom since he's got to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. tape over the camera. So can't <laughs> I can't see you. Bye bye. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jamie. This is fucking unbelievable. Nuts. This is just fucking nuts. You're almost unbelievable, right, Lauren? <laughs> Jamie, do you want to get back together with me? Damn, and he still asks. Right. Oh my god. I'm asking you right now. I don't know now. I'm confused. Oh no. Hmm. Uh... <laughs> 
when um, he gets sad, it's like this eye right here, it gets lower. Yeah, yeah eye, his eye that. starts to frown. His eye gets droopy. It sinks down. He's looking more like sloth every time I see him. Mm -hmm. Look sloth. at him. Look at his mouth. Rocky <laughs> Road? Uh, yeah, dude, like he's not. Uh, this is his sexy. This is the man who's no one ever told me he's ugly. Do you think uh, he purposefully tries to cover his teeth while talking, and that's why he he has such a weird duck mouth? Yeah, yeah. This is a life. It's got to be subconscious life, even for him. So he just tries to cover it with his with his lip. Because what is he, that face? It looks like that uh that CGI lip from the super the super friend. from Justice League. <laughs> super friend. Like CGing out his mustache. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, it does look very much like that. <laughs> Release the Snyder Cut. Fucking believable. Just fucking unbelievable. This is stressful. Stressful, Jamie. You brought it on yourself. Mm -hmm. Just get rid of the son of a bitch. You know, you brought him into our relationship. And now you let him stay down there. You get it all fucked up now. Now you're in love with this fucking her. clown. You're in love with this fucking clown that you wouldn't stay away from. After how many times I asked you to stay away from him? Didn't you tell him that you uh, that you love him too? How many fucking times have you told me that you love me since we've been back together, Jamie? Twice. <laughs> Twice. Damn. <laughs> What about the time I don't know about? <laughs> Casey, do you remember her telling me that she loves me? Um, Put me on I, blast. I don't remember. Wasn't paying attention if she did. Casey. Or did it. I don't really know. I, I don't remember her saying it at all. I've said it like once. Mm. Yeah, I remember you saying it once when you, when you one didn't want me to choose Casey over you. Oh. That's the ones that I remember you yeah. saying. Yeah. Other than a long time ago. There's something on the wall over there. Yeah, my thoughts. Oh, nice. What? She asked me if something was on the wall, and I said, yeah, my thoughts. Repeating it doesn't make it make any more sense. It did. It, do, it does. It did. It does. <laughs> Good luck. Well, Jamie, he's got quite a leg up on me. He's not a pedophile. He's seeing you. He's taking you out on dates. He's had sex with you. Countless times now. I mean, yeah, those are all really good points. <laughs> those are, well, you know, at those three points, you just drop, just drop right. it. Yeah, You're... even that, even without, like, yeah, like, it didn't engage in interstate travel to meet with up with a child. <laughs> like, don't even need to say that. Those first three yeah. are plenty. Yeah, I, I, I imagine his eyes are probably more even than yours. Um, <laughs> there's just a lot, a lot of things going on with Rod right now that Lauren doesn't have going on, and a, a, a person who had a realistic viewpoint on the world would say with just those first three things, Jamie, good luck with you and Rod. I hope you enjoy it. love fucking him for money on film. Like, and when you do what you love, you don't work a day in your life. Right. <laughs> and that's love fucking. <laughs> TLI, can we write the lyrics for a song called love fucking for love fucking? Yes, we can. All right. Yes, yeah, yes we can. It's your virgin. Listen, not anymore. I have to be honest. Oh no. Oh no. We had sex. When? When? After the date. Jesus fucking Christ, Jamie. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. Well, that you happened in real time. Joke. It actually startled me. <laughs> Did it startle you? Yeah, because I wasn't paying attention when he what he was doing. When he hit the table, I like actually jumped. How grounded did you get when your mom heard what you Oh, said? my mom was so pissed. She was like, go to bed. It's 930. <laughs> Blue boy Jenkins, go to sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for the dog. It's okay. Okay.
choking me. This part is so sick. Oh my God. I thought it was love. Thanks a lot, Jamie. Think I'll have a cigarette. <laughs> this fucking Don Draper over here. <laughs> Think I'll have a cigarette. <laughs> oh. the lean back in the you chair. Anyway. Like he's kingpin. Well, you would have had sex with him anyway. Yeah, but tell you what. Great fucking job, Jamie. You could take a cock in your mouth. I'll take a cigarette in mine. Now who looks stupid? <laughs> What does it matter when she had sex with him? Like, what What, would he, you know what? what was his you know reaction if it was months ago? If she can get her vagina filled with raw penis, he can fill his lungs with the sweet, sweet taste of tobacco. And she <laughs> can't say shit about it. So, Joke, yeah. fuck you. Joke's on you, Jamie. It's stuff like this that's the reason that smoking's on the rise again. Because people are like, <laughs> make, making it look so goddamn cool. Yeah. He should ask how many times they fucked. He should have one cigarette for each orgasm. That'll really show her. <laughs> I'll smoke a whole pack. Oh, love fucking, love making. What a fucking we joke. Together. What a fucking joke, Jamie. We weren't together. It, uh, it's not a goddamn excuse, Jamie. That's a pretty good what? excuse. That's not a fucking excuse. Pretty Actually, good. You don't, just because we're not together, excuse. you don't go on a fucking date with this fucking guy. Yeah, see that? That's a stalker. Tell him that you bump and have sex That's... with him right after you break up with me. <laughs> just because we're not together doesn't mean you can go have sex with this guy. <laughs> what? We, we will see some stalking behavior when we cover the birth of the birth and death of Cheater Pop after this. Look at it. And him. you will see why Baps, the great Baps B and I called her Lady Lorne. He uh, looks like a turtle with no shell. He really does, but not in a good, not in a good way. Like, yeah, not, not in a like cute a, way. not like he a looks... cute way. I'll look at that shellless tortoise that's definitely going to die. But like he in looks a like Freddy Krueger before he was burned. Yes, like it, like an alternate universe Freddy Krueger that didn't get burned, but it's still really ugly. <laughs> yes. It, right. Yes. Is that the reason that you broke up with me? Take so that, that you could go out with him and fuck him again. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm confused. Well, uh, your confusion is going to be the, the death of us. <clears throat> you better tell this motherfucker to get the fuck out of your life. It could have been part of it. I'll be honest. Well, it's obvious it was part of it. The fucked up attitude that you were giving me. Didn't realize it was because of that fucking virgin piece of shit. Mm. Oh, are you been Not a virgin you anymore. Nope. Well, he isn't a virgin. Ooh. No, <laughs> thanks to you. You ought to be real fucking proud of that, Jamie. You got me and you all fucked up because of this virgin penis that you met on the internet when we were together. Didn't Lauren used to use the internet trying to correct me if I'm wrong isn't that why he went to prison for fuck <laughs> at least Rod was an adult virgin yeah and I begged you not to fucking meet because you went looking for your virgin penis that's not something to be proud of Jamie I don't think she said she was proud of it but she is a little proud of it I mean but why would she not why Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, Casey, that's why I'm acting weird. I'm stuck in my head. Oh, no. Why are you just now talking about this? Would you and Reborn be uh, communicating back and forth during? Yeah, we'd be on Discord. Just like making kissy faces and stuff with each other. That's usually what we're doing all the other day. Just, I miss you. Nothing related. Nothing related <laughs> to the Lord. Stuff. Just flirting behind yeah. the scenes. <laughs> Three more and I just flirting with each other. It's eating me up inside. Poor Jamie. I didn't think that you would ever be like this, Jamie. Well, why not? <laughs> Every catfish has been like this. <laughs> yeah, this should be the least surprising thing that's ever happened. Right. 
<laughs> you specifically told me that you were yeah you like told me them yeah yeah you've gone you you've been doing the same shit that they've done it's weird right lauren See, if he had a beer right now, he would piece this shit together so fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Any excuse to smoke that cigarette, though, huh? Yeah, well, take that. You got that ready to go. He should go piss in the backyard, too. Yeah, really show Jamie. Mm-hmm. I can almost hear some like moody jazz piano. <laughs> like, the smoke billows around his face, <laughs> face in his hands. You did it on purpose because you let yourself be around that piece of shit. Yeah. After how many times I asked you not to? Fuck me and Casey both even asked you not to be around him anymore. You said you wouldn't. Well, when I was there and I met him, I, you guys were acting very flirty, but I just brushed it off as nothing. Oh, no. So Casey could have been insulting him. I'm not gonna stop insulting him. He's a piece of fucking shit. I don't give a fuck how he feels. I don't care how you feel about it. You don't like me. And, and that would have to make Lorne so mad because no one ever defends him. Yeah. The, the last time someone defended him, it was Ramona defending him against the doctor and bro. She would lightly <laughs> defend him. But. No one defends Lorne, and here she is sticking up for Rod. Stop stop talking shit about him. They're fucking, they're in love, she's defending him, and will Lorne ask her if she wants to be with him again before this call is over? <laughs> Do you want to be with me? Some goddamn excuse, Jamie! The fucking Ben cheated on me to begin with. Fucked up, I didn't Jamie. Cheat on you. Jamie, you going on the fucking internet looking for guys is the same goddamn thing as cheating. Yeah. Fuck you looking for other guys on the fucking I was internet. Looking for friends. You were bored. Fuck friends. I was looking for friends. Make fuck faces. You were looking for money. Yeah. You were doing whatever I was you looking could for, for money. Friends. Fuck friends money. So you were doing whatever you could for money, Jamie. Yeah. That's how you met him. Boom. I was looking for friends. Oh, you certainly found one that you got way too fucking close to you, didn't you? He's a good friend. A very good friend. He's a piece of shit that you need to fucking stay away from. What happens if you break the contract, Jamie? So what exactly was the contract, uh, Blue Boy? Um, she had to do like a certain number of pornography films with him. <clears throat> Over a certain period of time? I believe so. And how did that come to be? So they, they met as friends online and he was a virgin. And then he somehow got involved in the in the movies with her? Yeah. <clears throat> he She met him. I think Rod was someone who would watch her like porn videos when she was doing cam shows and he offered her money to do pornography so he oh to to be in the pornography yeah because he was a virgin and he wanted to yeah okay and how did lauren take that initially he was pissed i mean obviously because she was gonna go fuck another guy and then he started crying because he wanted to be the first guy to have sex with her in a while oh Oh, that's guy. when that call came out that was, I, I, we, I think we streamed that recently which what's it called i don't know you don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know what names calls but um it, it's the one where he i mean he's crying because she's gonna go fuck rod and it was so look for that yeah i'm not sorry I'm, 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 I'm no help i know He's going to sue me, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Don't know how you sue somebody you love. <sighs> oh, 
know, it's fucked up, Jamie. You go on a fucking date with him, tell him you love him, you fuck him, and you won't even let me see you on camera. Business before pleasure. She's trying. <laughs> business before pleasure, a real businessman. Is that what she just said? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how she says she loves him and she's defending him to Lauren. <laughs> business before pleasure, a real businessman. <laughs> yeah, business before pleasure, yeah. I might start crying. Oh, no. Casey. Don't cry, Casey. Angel. How can you expect me not to? Princess. Excellent acting skills. Yeah. Trying to get Lauren going. He's thinking about it. He's trying to cry. <laughs> Remember what I told you about being selfish, Jamie? You had me and Casey. You wanted more. But you gave me an I'm attitude and broke up with me. You gave me an attitude and broke up with me so that you could go out on a date with that piece of shit. And tell him you love him and fuck him. Yes. I mean, that's the gist of it. Uh, how could you do that? To me and it you. sounds like she didn't want to be with you anymore. So <laughs> she wanted to be with someone else, and she went out and fucked him and told him she loved him. That's exactly how she did it. But that's no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> that's no excuse. You. My heart is being pulled in three ways. Yeah. Come on, Lauren, you got it. Jamie, how could you do that to me and you after the time that you and I have shared? Exactly. We weren't together. It does. It, we're together is not. It don't fucking matter, Jamie. We weren't it, together, but that whole fucking does. Six months. No. Do you know how many women I looked at? Oh. Zero. Zero, Jamie. Because of you. Because I'm not allowed to. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys were apart, you didn't look at any other women. No. I didn't care about any other women. She were gawking at me. <laughs> But you didn't know you were going to get Jamie back. Well, I didn't know him. I didn't know if I was going to be able to talk to her again or not. I was just hoping that she would, that she would find a way to contact me. And thankfully, she did. My devotion was to Jamie, and Jamie's devotion was to There's apparently so Rod. It's not, like, it's not like Jamie wanted to be happy. <laughs> My head is all screwed up. I don't know what to do. Lauren's even wearing that hat. You got him. <laughs> Been wearing it ever since she got it for me. Oh. See, Jamie? Uh, a and of a Jamie B. Jamie all around this fucking house. A what? A, a this time, not a B. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, right. Well, uh, he got he's got his Alabama hat, and also, uh, Jamie sat on what's his name. The dude that's uh, jacked and stacked. Carter. She sat on Carter's shoulders, and she wasn't wearing any panties because it was warm out. Yeah, <laughs> as you do. Because <laughs> the Lord's like, do you wear any panties? No, it was warm. <laughs> oh, that's when she had parked her pussy on his neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Carter kept saying his neck was hot. <laughs> no, he was warm. <laughs> I was warm. Oh. Where else did Jamie? I'm a terrible person. Yeah. You're not They're not terrible. Barrel full of Christmas presents or uh, Christmas decorations that she picked out. Oh no. Still got the angel that looks like Jamie. <laughs> top of the tree. Have you seen the angel? That's right over there. Isn't it the black angel? Yeah, we called it the Ramona angel because it looked like Ramona. It didn't look anything like Jamie. And he thinks it looks like Jamie? I don't know how he thought it did because it, it it's a black angel. <sighs> fucking stupid. <laughs> it's a fucking stupid 
asshole. <laughs> like a barrel full of barrel full of Christmas decorations. I'll bet it really isn't a barrel too. All that shit. Like an old <laughs> fucking <laughs> barrel that used to keep crackers in. Yeah, <laughs> old fucking cracker barrel still got dusty old saltines at the bottom. Christmas decorations. You got fucking just everything is. Fucking Jamie in here. Oh my god, he's like Popeye, he just mutters. <laughs> you know how much Jamie, you're everywhere in there. Yeah. Here's deeply for you. I'm looking at what you've done. Oh, yeah. Show you something else, it, Jamie. Lauren is just Popeye if he never discovered spinach and found the internet <laughs> instead. <laughs> <laughs> Landlocked Popeye <laughs> who found the internet instead of vegetables. Oh, yeah, well, I want to put it out on the front porch so you can have some room to play it. You got his stuff in the air right now. a foosball table. Who, who, who did he get a foosball table? Jamie. Why? I don't know. There's not going to be any room for Twister with a foosball table in there. your thought when you first saw this i don't know what it is this to me looks like at the smoke shop all the bongs and shit right. I'm, I'm, it does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna a look bowl at shaped the, like a baby shoe would well, be I'm, I'm look weird like, fucking yeah i'm gonna look at the overpriced bongs and go nah so what's in there is a little ceramic basket he bought for jamie those two like i don't even know what they are i think they're salt and pepper shakers that are in the shape of presidents that for some reason he asked Jamie to pick out two, so she she did, and then his two bowling or his two uh karaoke, uh, karaoke trophies. Those are his mementos. He put his own plastic trophies in there, isn't that? <laughs> I'm this man. He's retarded, right? Certainly not beating the allegations. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to remind you guys of uh, of something because I think maybe you guys are forgetting um, what I'm about here. Hold on, hold on, here it is. If bullying's funny, you must be delirious. Cause bullying's no joke. Bullying's serious. Right. Bullying is serious, yeah. and you shouldn't do it unless it's funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it has to be really good. <laughs> the pink basket I thought you got rid of it. Of course not. Oh, I love you. Yeah, turn the light on. There we go. See that any better? It looks yeah. Amazing. And he got that from the dump that, too, that. Of course he did. That Thomas Jefferson statue. <laughs> yep, she picked them all. Aww. I don't even know if it's Thomas Jefferson. My Thomas Jefferson slum pepper shaker. <laughs> that sounds like some shit from an 80s sitcom that someone would have ordered from QVC. Some mama, I, I'm sure there was a Mama's Family episode about some Thomas Jefferson salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> oh, no. Do you still have lavender? Lamandre? Yep. Yeah, go get it. Of course he has Lamandre still. Now imagine, look, just look at this fucking place. This is in, in like in any movie, Wrong Turn, any of those types of movies where they go out into the middle of nowhere and there's some fucking abandoned cabin and they go inside yeah. of it. It always looks like this inside of it, right? And, yeah, when your car breaks down in a right, weird small and you're, town, and you're going, no fucking way would you just walk into some random ass cabin like that? And then Lauren had some girl drive up there when it's getting dark. Hot ticket in her short skirt and her high heels, and he's like, "We well, can stay in here." <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, expecting Jamie, who has only lived in California and Nashville, mm -hmm. to want to live in this dilapidated shack. 
well, okay, it hasn't been. He just hasn't painted it yet. You put a, you put a coat of paint on this. And you're gonna. It really opens up the place. And she's supposed to just play cards with his mom. She's a 25 year old woman. He needs two more walls before it even qualifies as a shack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lean to. <laughs> yeah, this is barely a lean to. <laughs> Look, he never said he was perfect. Okay. <laughs> Barely qualifies as shelter. Ain't a person in the world who's perfect. Closest one is his mom. She's pretty great. 87 fucking year old woman. What is he doing? That display case. Uh, kept that for Jamie. Yeah. Those little... See those little... They match. They go really well with everything else. The room is spinning. Yeah, what are you doing, Lauren? Yo, yo. Let me spell it out for you. B U L O Y I N G. Bullying others isn't me. B U L O Y I N G. We should be bully free. Welcome to Bully Comic Corner presented by Blue Boy. Can you beat this mean comment during today's segment? We will be voting in the chat, and the winner will win a $50 Amazon gift card. This is a joke. I remember becoming fascinated with lawnography in 2020. Many of the catfish, Ramona, Debbie, Winnie, and Emma, were comedy gold and would keep me entertained for hours. Now we are stuck with the untalented and unfunny blue boy. He is the third catfish now to impersonate Casey Moreau, the actress from the lawn Armstrong teacap stay. Blue Boy's portrayal of the character is that of an unlikable, snotty, self entitled conspiracy nut who has a crush on Alex Jones and proclaims to be an anti vaxxer. Does Lauren Agraphy really need this idiot's personal tinfoil hat wearing beliefs to invade the content? Whatever happened to just trolling? Wow, that one got to me. That one stings. That um. one stung. Cause you you want to know a little secret, little uh, little tidbit for you here. Yeah, go ahead. I I don't know anything about Alex Jones besides what was being told to me. So that's while we weird. Were recording. So you admittedly <laughs> are in love with Alex Jones, but no nothing about him. <laughs> yeah, that's sounds true. Little, that's sounds, true. Sounds a little Lorne like to me. Yeah. <laughs> in. You do you do you want to say who this person was? Or are we not saying? Who oh, person this person in particular is Preparet's husband. And Preparet being the one who goes to visit Lauren from Canada. Her this is her crackhead husband. So this Man, is get the hell out of here. What is? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's how it works. Um, you'll have like a minute, including you know a, another minute to go, and whoever has, top, you got to top this bully comment. It's got to be about Blue Boy. Uh, so you, you got another minute, and someone will be in the chat, and me, Blue, Sloth, maybe TLI, will we'll be voting and picking the winner, and someone's going to win a $50 Amazon. I mean, and, and really go for the jugular. I mean, yeah. really try to hurt my feelings. Don't be afraid to tell Blue Boy what a bitch he is. Here uh, are some things I'm sensitive about. Being Jewish. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> and uh, th that's basically it. You just hit me with that. Hit me that over and over. Uh, and I have one one thing to, to close this segment out. Bully, 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 free. Bully, free and discovery. Bully, 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 free. Bully, free and discovery. If bullying is your style, if it's your game, you should know it's really lame. All those kids need to get their ass beat. <laughs>
I like little blue boy on the end pumping his fist. <laughs> <laughs> You ghosted me for six months. I thought you hated me, so I tried to move on. What? Lauren, you, you ghosted me, so I thought you moved on, then he lifts a glass up to the camera. He got those for her. But, like, that means, nothing, that means nothing to her. They were never physically in her hand, they weren't connected to her in any way. They're just some thing. They're just. I mean, when nothing. you have to go, like, remember this, Jamie, it clearly didn't mean that much to her, if you, you know? And what is that? It's just an ugly glass he got at a yard sale. That looks like something you got at, like, back in the day at Denny's when you got the four ninety nine Grand Slam and they would give you the free glass at your Coca Cola. I never ate at Denny's. I'm too wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget he's canonically a Golden Sa Goldman Sachs executive. <laughs> He's broke oh, ass eating at Denny's. <laughs> Getting a free glass. Yeah, do you mean the Four Seasons, Wes? <laughs> do you mean Smith and Walensky's? <laughs> yeah. Those are Jamie's. Yeah, those are Jamie's. That cabinet is, is going to fall off the wall. Anything. This window is weird, too. Got... Yep. Remember those? those? Remember these? A plate. It's a plate, Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're cute. Jamie What are those pictures of? They're right there. Mm -hmm. See if I can get that glare off of. Yeah, I can see it. The one in the middle is me. The one on the in the dark shirt is Paul. My he brother. didn't go left or right. That's the brother who the Lauren side, sucked his dick. Wait, well, okay. First of all, they a probably legend. Did and, <laughs> they probably well, did and, it right before taking that picture. <laughs> it looks like they holding him up because he's so little. He is very small. Look at this. Like, you can't see, but he's like kicking his legs back and forth. <laughs> um, here's the thing about the whole Paul thing that I mean, I I contacted you about it, Blue Boy. How? Because I'm listening to the case, I listened to the Casey series in chronological order, uh, because it was put to, they're initially released like a fucking moron. Yes, yeah, so jackass doing it's that. It's in order now. And if you listen in order, it's a com you get a completely different. It's it's weird how good it is in order. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and suck your own dick? Speaking of dick <laughs> sucking here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so Lauren wants to tell Casey something that he's never told anyone before. And what he says is about his wet dream that he had at 12 years old. And he had no idea what happened to his body. He was very confused. And, and it just made me think, how was Lorne at 12 confused by what a wet dream was when he was allegedly being sexually abused by his older brothers at a younger age? Right, because you, you would think you would know what it is after your brother coomed in your Absolutely mouth. Absolutely you would know what it was. So it's bullshit. And and that was the other reason why I didn't I never believed Lauren was I th he would have used it as an excuse for Chris Hansen. Yeah, you think? I believe he would have used that. Yeah, I think he would have used it as an excuse of. Uh, yeah, of course. I think he would have said instead of the Apollo thing that he tried to come up with of of how he was hurt. Like the, the story he came up with made no sense. I think he would immediately because he's a victim. Yeah. And if he, and if it would have made him because he didn't know who Chris was, he might have thought he was still a police uh, like a parent. And so if, yeah, he yeah. Got out, like, if he could have got out by saying, like, you know what happened to me and I'm, nothing actually happened here, I'll never come back. If he would have had that in his back pocket, he absolutely would have used it. Yeah, but I, I do think that's a good point that you mentioned that he he allegedly didn't know what a wet dream was. I wish Casey well. would have brought that up. <sighs> yeah, too he bad. He would have at least used that at the interrogation. That, yeah, right? He would. I think he would have used it. He would have tried to use it to get some sort of sympathy because that's Lauren. He's going to use everything he has. He tried to get sympathy by talking about being being cat. <laughs> I should have known. Uh, not like I shouldn't have been talking to children, but I should have been smart and at least verified she was a real child. Chris, Chris must have been so confused because <laughs> that is just the most random thing to bring up. No wonder that that was cut from like the episode, right? Because it was just nonsense. It was related. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was um, 
That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, Lauren's... Like, what Lauren's the fuck are you whole... talking about, dude? This is not a therapy session. Lauren's whole thing, it wasn't even the, even the most... He did not have, at all, the most memorable segment on To Catch a Predator. Without the content that came after it, like the catfishing and stuff, Lauren's just another... To me, he's just another another I, person. Yeah, he, he didn't stand out to me at all. It was only when I was looking at Elliot Roger videos and I discovered Bay Shaman yeah. doing the chat log readings. That's the only time that I like remembered Lauren was because yeah, I, he I, had the long one. I found the Ember stuff, and that's what that that's what made it funny. Otherwise, he was just, like I just remembered him. I vaguely remembered him, but the people that stuck out to me were like Jeff Stacy and uh, Ball Beaver Hunter. Yeah, you know the uh, what was a uh, Donald Morrison like that that dude. Those are the people who really stuck out to me. But, I mean, I'm glad that Lauren is who Lauren is. That was the other thing that was so surprising. Because he wasn't such a standout on this show for years of content, to, for him to just be this fucking train wreck with, <laughs> I, I mean, like, they just couldn't, it couldn't have happened to a better to a better guy. He <laughs> really couldn't have. <laughs> We're proud of you, Lauren. All right, Lauren, we got it. We saw. We can see. <laughs> oh, him, he sucked your dick? Great, thank you. <laughs> Wait, and that's the same brother that had to walk the, like, 20, who wanted to walk 22 miles not to sleep at Lauren's house, right? Is it? Wasn't it, wasn't, wasn't it Paul? I don't know. I, th- I thought it was Roy just because I always assumed no, Roy was drunk. What? Are you fucking kidding? Roy? Hold on. Hold on, blue boy. Roy. Drunk fucking Roy <laughs> was going to walk so he didn't have to sleep. The bit, he sleeps in ditches. That's true. Roy just he sleeps wherever he wants. He would have slept under under Lauren's truck if he didn't want to sleep inside. Like a stray walk. cat. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta look under your car. Anywhere, everyone in Corvus will look under, under their car before me. Be careful, Roy know. might be under there. Roy might be under. Hey, did you check for Roy? I checked for Roy. I ch- I always check for Roy. I'm not new here. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just it was. I pretty sure it was Paul that was going to walk and that's when Lauren went and drove into the house because he was going <laughs> to like, save Paul might be was... drunk enough to suck my dick again <laughs> <laughs> it's it's racing down, down the up. street to go pick him up <laughs> out of breath <laughs> I wore my blue shorts I wore my blue I wore my blue shorts <laughs> penis just in his hand <laughs> I think that did it, Lauren. You ghosted me for six months. I thought you hated me, so I tried to move on. I didn't hate you. I was in love with you, Jamie. It wasn't it wasn't my doing that I had to leave. Yeah. I had to change my number. So I dated MJ and Will. I know you told me. She had a busy six months. I tried to keep that out of my head. That's why she's mentioned it. Yeah. Lorne, let's get on a different topic. Can I ask you something? Oh, man. I bet it'll, this will turn yeah. You said Chris emailed you. What's that all about? Chris emailed me? Oh, it's about him wanting an interview with me. Are you going to give it to him? I think you should. I don't know. Why not? Why not? Because I don't want to give it to him. For one. For two, he has a felon a felony, so he doesn't. I can't anyway because I can't have any do anything to do with felon. Uh what if he didn't have a felony? I still wouldn't give it to him. Why would I want to give him a, an interview? To clear your name. Casey, you didn't want me to give him an interview. I interview just before. Asked. You, didn't, you didn't want me to give him an interview before, Casey, because you, you said it would just boost his career. Yeah. That was at the I beginning agree. because he was said he had said to Casey, it's in like the first text, that he was going to thank Chris for getting him in contact with Casey. And I was like, no, 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 don't do that. 
<laughs> we did the right. That's great. <laughs> He's such a good man for getting us back together. Why would a guy? Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I, I, I don't know. It's just funny, dude, because the whole time that this was going on with Chris and trying to get, I was being told that um, that it was you guys who were stopping this from happening. Right. No, I know you were being told that. Even like, though we were, the, like trying to, even though the people who were aware of what was going on, like the people who would have known exactly what was going on, were were like, oh yeah, uh, blue blue, not blue boy, it was reborn. Reborn was was trying to make it not happen. And it's just obvious that was not the case. No, we... Yeah, that was a lie. You're still a piece of shit, but not about But that. I'm a piece of shit for a different reason. Exactly. The more the racism than anything. It's the racism and the fact that I hate poor people. That makes me a piece of shit. No, you can go look for an interview with someone, with someone else. Yeah. A different pedophile. Right, Lauren? I don't need my face out in public. Like, I get like that again. How about that senator? Oh, wait. <laughs> You want me to show you something else? Is it Malik Washington? He's tied up in your closet. <laughs> he finally got a ride. <laughs> he got a ride it was from Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question. Can I go home? <laughs> Lord, I just need to ask you, did you get yourself a slave? <laughs> Why is Malik Washington here? <laughs> I mean, like, what is Lauren? I just, he has to know this would not be interesting to anyone. He thinks he's than, winning her over right now. With 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 things that he purchased while they were talking on the phone together? Yeah. It's romantic. Yeah, what do you know about romance, Wes? I guess nothing. And he should get a green screen if he's going to, if this is his bag, he should have a green screen. So it looks like he's in space or something, because this is bad. That'd be cool. Like the Shire yeah. or something <laughs> in the background. <laughs> yeah, the oh Shire my would god. be cool as hell. Oh my god, this. I fucking love what the this. fuck? Um, let me see. I want you, to, you gotta be able to see this, TLI. Uh, now this is sex, uh, for anyone who's unaware. Mm. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what thruple sex looks like, according to Lauren. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you can... <laughs> I guess it could be worse. I just, I just, I just love, I just love. <laughs> Jamie would have to be 11 feet tall. Jamie. Yes, that, that is a very tall woman. Going Jamie is, all the way forward. Is into that so woman. tall, but then, but then Casey is very short. <laughs> <laughs> Casey is very, is very short. But then, but then Jamie is also very strong because she like, look at the, look at the pose that she's having to do. And so, like, while delivering pleasure and taking pleasure. <laughs> Lauren's the only one who gets to just sit there. Yeah, Lauren's really got the best job Lauren is job sitting here. in the chair that he's sitting in right now uh, while this is going on. And, but, I mean, bless Casey and Jamie for being willing. <laughs> <laughs> that looks this is the like hardest something... ever worked on something in his life, too, this drawing. <laughs> that looks like something you found on a cave wall. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to jerk off to it later. He has to make it as as possible. It's analog porn. Uh, I just wish probation would have showed up and he would have had this like on his coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Blue Boy, what happened to, to this to this picture? I can't remember if this is the this is not the one he mailed to the oh, random house. It's not. <laughs> but it's. I think it's very similar to this. So, was he asked to draw this, or was this? Um, yeah, because he was, um, saying in the text messages, it's like what he wanted to do to the girls. And we were like, uh -huh. fuck, because we were like in Reborn and I just talking to each other, like trying to figure it out for ourselves what he means. Cause he's like, I want, you know how Lauren does phone sex and it's like, I want you to, to lick your pussy while you suck in my, you know, he's doing all that <laughs> shit. Right. So he did, he went on this, yeah. So he went on this whole long ass rant. And we were like, what the fuck? How did, how would that even work? So we were like, draw it for us. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this drawing so much. It is a great drawing. I'm going to get it tattooed on me. 
want to eat your pussy while she's eating your pussy. Yeah, that's how he was doing it. Like, I want to. And she's sucking my ding. It. Yeah. <laughs> this power triangle here. I think he said he. Oh, actually, I did the drawing that he had for that he mailed had um Jamie squatting over his head and he she was dripping into his mouth. He wanted like her pussy juice to drip into his mouth. Yeah, that's uh, how it works. So Maybe that, that was, was sent shit. to a lovely family. Maybe that was California. <laughs> man, that probably broke up a whole marriage, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, if, what if the person who got it just happened to have like some incontinence problems? Or... I don't know. I mean, some little kid had to grow up fast. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who wet the, traumatically wet the bed or pissed themselves in front of the high school or something back in the day, and they've completely forgotten about it. Then they open up the mail. <laughs> well, first of all, that's that's tampering because it was addressed to Casey Morrow, so they're going to jail for that. And then they were traumatized by what oh, the you contents were. Oh, so you, so you opened her mail. Congratulations, <laughs> you're going to prison. Yeah. I hope you like people peeing in your mouth because you'll be getting plenty of that <laughs> in prison. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at his look at his face. I'm so turned on. <laughs> way too proud. Way, way too proud. Oh no, Casey has to change her panties. <laughs> Jamie, look familiar? Look familiar? The big black dick. Does that look familiar? <laughs> There he is. What is that? There he is. What is that? I miss him so much. The smile on his face is even bigger for Lamandre than it was for his little his little drawing. Did you notice that? He's living in a different universe. <laughs> <laughs> it was inside of you, bye bye. <laughs> Lamandre. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, it's in a box? Yeah, bimbo. Yeah. Same you box of Maggie Joe Santa. Same yeah. box of Maggie Joe Santa. Yeah, that's where he keeps it. That's a special box. Yeah, it doubles as a carrying case. Like all post office boxes uh, do. You'll have to wait. I'm not going to put that in. That'll be my butt later the, uh, tonight. Thank you very much. He can only show the balls. Yeah, he can only show the balls, right? <laughs> The balls are fine. Let's see. No, the no hold on. Wait a minute. D does oh, probation look at this video or something? Is that why he didn't show the whole Lamandre? Blue boy. Probation is okay with balls. Yeah. It's in it's in the terms of his probation. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, I probation was gonna watch this back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like all the other shit he said did already. <laughs> it's like right. it's too it, it, late for him to look back. Like, you know how Lauren is. I mean, for, yeah, it's like, dude, just because you only showed the balls of the dildo, you still showed the dildo. Yeah, but the plausible deniability. Yeah, I guess. That's not my dick. Prove that's my dick. You know what I mean? But yeah, they were gonna this. They were gonna watch this back because they have. Uh, they can view Lauren's phone through the monitor. You know, and they weren't going to watch it back alone. There was going to be a group of people. And there Dude, would be could you imagine? Bets. Yeah. This would, be, this would be my entertainment. I would, whoever was in charge of Lorne, I would, that would be the person who I would, you know, when I got bored, I would go talk to them. Hey, so what's the dumb fuck up? Uh, my dream job is to be Lorne's probation officer. Really? Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> would you make his life miserable? Oh, well, yes. That's what I'm saying. I just want to, I want to see Lorne's file. You know, it has to be like, Huge. I want, yeah. See, I'd want to be the special guy brought in, and my one job would be Lauren Armstrong. Yeah, or I just want to be like the auditor or something. Like, I can just come in and take the documents and look them over, but not have to deal with Lauren. I want to be the one who, like, the town hires me because they want Lauren to move. And the only way they can do it is for me to make his life so miserable he packs up and leaves. <laughs> and I've got free reign, and I get $150 a day. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And all the soda you want. And then I, and then. I save the day, and I foil the big bank robbery and get the key to the city, but they realize I'm black, and they kick me out of town. 
they realize you were the one who committed the crimes. Well, I caught myself, but but point being, uh, I got Lorne to move, and so you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. See that back, did you, Jamie? Jamie didn't think of what nothing. What is that back? Remember those, Jamie? Oh my god! Oh right, that of course. Is that a sock puppet? <laughs> That a sock puppet? <laughs> yeah, something like that. And it was what now, Blue Boy? Blue Boy? That was the, the pecker pouch. And what would he do with that? He would wear it, and it was like felt material, and he, at one point, I'm pretty sure jerked off into it. <laughs> And then he was going to use it. He was going to have sex with Jamie while wearing it. Which I don't <laughs> know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. This male's going to wear a nylon condom? It's not nylon. It's like... It's like a weird... It's like a fabric. So not a condom. No, no, it's not, not, it's not, a, not a condom. It's not a condom at it's, all. It's, it's li- I don't know what the purpose of it is. It's it's. I mean, it, it is what it is. It is a it is a pouch well, for your I know, packer. It's a dick cozy. You, yeah. You, I mean, look, you're gonna go out snowboarding, skiing. Um, <laughs> your dick warm. Yeah. You want your dick. You want your dick extra warm. You're like, okay, yeah, you want it warm, but you want your dick extra warm. You get yourself a dick cozy. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Uh, now jerking off into it. I thought that was not what you're supposed to do with the dick. It's a well, dick you're, you're certainly not supposed to have sex with it on. Well, no, I didn't read that on the instructions. It didn't specifically say not to have sex with my dick. Cause <laughs> <laughs> why would you? Why would you want to have sex with the? I think it would hurt both parties. Be, you'd get like a rug burn on your dick and oh. in her vagina. I can't wait to feel myself inside of you while I'm inside of this fabric. Right, you wouldn't feel anything. I don't know. Imagine doing all this stuff, saying this stuff, showing this stuff, and then having to go and sit down to, and talk to the people who have told you <laughs> that these people are fake and they are fucking with you. And you go in there with 100% confidence <laughs> that, no, they're real. Everything is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look this at is that my tooth. reception. You couldn't see Casey? Tooth right there. You couldn't see Casey? I could see her. Yeah, that's she's real. You can see her. I can see her moving. The, I can see a shadow moving around <laughs> behind a piece of tape. <laughs> well, that tooth doesn't even look like it belongs in his mouth. Not even close. I think they did that on purpose. They made it look as random as possible. It's a pack of pouch. Oh, I wish I could have seen that. Mm-hmm. You didn't see it. You didn't see it, Katie. You want me to show it to you, Katie? Yeah, show it to her. Show her your dick pouch. I want to see you wearing it. Yeah. Oh. Well, Get out here. I kept this. You'll see it. Oh, nice. Look at that ass. You will see my dick in this pink pouch. Trust me. Trust me. You'll be There's seeing plenty of that. Grab a hold of them. You still have the bottom from my juice. Hang on. Hang on, Jamie. I can't hear you. You still have the what? You still have the bottle from my juice. The bottle, I, I don't, I don't think I have that. I don't. I'm trying to remember if I did it at all. I don't remember where I put it. There's, there's a couple of boxes with with stuff in it that when I was moving stuff around because when I was painting this, I had to box a bunch of stuff up. If I have that, then it's it's in there. Oh my god. I don't think I have it though. Because I was, I was throwing some stuff away. Huh? What did you go and grab? What did, uh, what did you go grab? Did go and grab? Not that I, <laughs> I put the Mon- I put the Mondre back in. You're putting shit away while you're on the call? Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Put the, the, the cock. Next to keep drawer. a clean house. 
still got the two cassettes. What was in that little green bag? My penis. That was a penis pouch. Oh. You're just going to say that? Okay. I still got the two cassettes. Cassettes? Y'all knows the well, so you don't want to do the interview with Chris? No. No, no way. Pussy. No, I made my mind up about that a long time ago. Why not? Well, because I don't have any need to. I, I don't care if anybody else hears anything else about me. Even if we wanted you to give it to him, you wouldn't do it, or would you? No. I don't feel a need to. It just put, it'll put myself back on the public, and I don't want that. Yeah, he's done all this work to repair his name. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I just skip forward or, or no? Am I good? We'll see. Chris? No. No, no way. Okay, I just went back a little bit. No, I made my mind up about that a long time ago. Why not? Well, because I don't have any need to. <laughs> Fuck Chris. I, I don't care if anybody else hears anything else about me. Mm -hmm. Even if we wanted you to give it to him, you wouldn't do it, or would you? No. I don't feel a need to. It just put, it'll put myself back out in the public, and I don't want that. I don't want to be back out in the public like that. I've dealt with enough years of stupid bullshit. That At least you're over that. No desire to. <laughs> At least you're over that woman that call. Well, you're on a call with your two girlfriends who you can't see, <laughs> and one is a robot. One is a robot, and one is the decoy from this thing that put you to this whole fucking mess in the first place. I'm so glad all the ridiculousness is out of your life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna live my life and not have to deal with Casey, I wish I could see you. <laughs> Damn, you know, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to mess with it when we get off here. Something yeah. that I have. That's the time to fix it after the call. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if it works for next time. Oh, you know what? There's a piece of tape over the. I'm going to take the tape off after this call. <laughs> <laughs> take the tape off, Jamie. Casey. No clue why. Mm. Well, it's like the camera's dirty. Yeah, wipe it off. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's, it looks smoky. Yeah, just wipe it off. Try that. I don't know. Yeah, is that working? Jamie, I wish you'd turn your camera on. Long, I'm tired from crying and I have a headache. Oh. All right. I'm sorry I heard you. Oh. You need to get rid of him, Jamie. Yeah, go back to that well. Do you want to get back together with me? Do you want to get back together with me? Why would you want to get back with her? I don't know. Well, you got to figure it out. This is... This is... I'm so bad. confused. Uh, you, need to stop, you need to stop hanging around him. You're not being fair to me. You're they not, work together. Yeah. There's a contract. Yeah. Like, you know, you're at this going point, on with him and shit. At this point, even if she said, like, okay, um, I'm not in love with him, they're still working together. And so is Lauren going to be fine with that? She's like, okay, well, I got to go work to fuck Rod, but don't worry, I'm not in love with him anymore because you told me <laughs> not to be. So it's, we're back to just fuck fucking, not love fucking. Mm hmm. That's not being fair to me. You, you even keeping him around, that was never we fair to me. It, it doesn't matter. It does matter. No, I thought it did. When we were together, Jamie, you still kept him around. And it wasn't fair to me. Not at all. That's when you leave. Yeah, well. <laughs> it wasn't fair to me and you. Or me, you, and Casey. I want to Casey. I hurt you so bad, Lorne, I'm sorry. Cure it. Get rid of him. Cure it. Get rid of him.
I don't know it's if I can. Like I'm confused. Oh, I know you can. Look how in love with me you've been. <laughs> Two years, Jamie. <laughs> what? Any feeling what? of love you you think you're getting, Lauren, is <laughs> all in your head. <laughs> Look how in love with me you've been. <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> he just makes up everybody else's feelings. Yeah, yeah, that's all he can do. <laughs> makes it up he really treats people like he's playing with action figures or something. <laughs> he's making up the scenarios and it's like no this is how you feel like i said that's how you feel yeah. don't, did you not hear you're fucking, you're fucking crazy about me and we haven't even been face to face yet yeah so imagine when we are face to face think of a, think about me not being in your life how do you like that think about how that how you feel about that when you put it that way lauren yeah. One less pedophile. Hmm? Yeah, take a look at him. See what, you, see what you'd be missing out on. <laughs> hey, see. And Lauren just, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah, of course. Here, they get to bed with you. Oh, my God. Oh, hell yeah. Turn the fuck on. Oh, my God. <laughs> the hell was that, Lauren? Oh, look at that face. So he was proud of his himself. muscles. He had that one loaded in the chain. Was, he was waiting to do that one. Yeah. No matter how the conversation went, that's how it was yeah. going to end it. And did you hear the one? Hey, with you. Here, take that to bed with you. He was he was going to do that at the end of the call no matter what. And mm-hmm. that's going to give them. Now, they just filled the spank bank with, oh, a, yeah. with a little bit of lorn bicep. So now tonight, while they're drifting off to bed in their uh, sensible nightgowns, that, so that if anyone does come to the door, they won't see their breasts or butts. Uh, <laughs> they will be pleasuring themselves thinking about Lauren's bicep. So that was a little, a little gift from Lauren to them. He may not have money, but he does have something. Look he has a face. little biceps. Yeah. Still got a pair of guns. He's not stacked in jail. Pretty nice, Lauren. Pretty nice biceps. Dude. Look at that big old muscle. Carter is stronger. Yeah. Carter is way stronger. He's bigger, Another just taller. I'd like you both to take the bed too, but whoa, other muscle. And I had to do it from a distance. Well, and also like your calf. Curved. Yeah, that yeah, that. My pecker. It's forty-eight percent correction. You pecs. Yeah, my pecs. My pecs and my pecker. Mm. It's boobies. Pecs and peckers. Like this. Look at his face. Like yeah. You cannot tell me this man had any game with right. women at the bar. No. He's making that goofy face as he's, like, very, like, I don't know. He, his flirting is just, it's he seems uncomfortable doing it. He, like, he has no idea what he's doing. He's never been successful yeah. with it before unless it was online and it was with a child or a cat. Like anyone who even thinks, like, there's a chance he could have sex with some drunk girl at the bar. I don't think so. No, dude, even in the, even in fucking Air Force. Look, Air Force basic training is six weeks. After basic training, you go to tech school. Every joke that every TI tells you in basic training is related to how much sex you are going to be having at tech school. And that shit is no joke. It is like Olympic Village. Something about (laughs) not being separated for six weeks from the opposite sex when you're that age. You got all the hormones going. Something about it. And then in the first month of tech school, you also kind of kept separate. You're still in your uniform. Once you're able to start wearing civilian clothes again after hours and going out it's just dude that's that's it, it ha- and lorn lorn nothing just fucking nothing you can tell by the way he talks by the way he describes sex this man has not had it I'm he's he, not even had like it like in front of kayla he seemed so awkward he had he just can't i can't imagine this man being able to like i don't know just act suave and get a woman to have sex with him ever no. No, and that's why he would have been looking for people with no. Ex- that's why I think Ember, Ember as a, a catfish, scared him because in in the in the universe she was very experienced. Yeah, and oh, because he sexual. totally would have boned Ember. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm, I I don't see. I think he would have been scared because she, he would have been compared to anyone else that she had ever been with. But like with the Kayla or <clears throat> with someone who. That's why I was surprised he would even be with Jamie, someone who's like having all this sex and he's and he's going to be with her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that's probably why he cried because 
he doesn't want her having sex with a man. He said he wanted to you know, be the first one in a while. Oh, so that so way maybe, she would. Yeah. yeah. He's probably thinking after that amount of time, she kind of, basically she's a virgin again. And she yeah, will remember what yeah. good sex feels like. Exactly. I know you have a headache, Jamie. I really need to rest my head. She's got some sex to cure that headache. Okay. Next time, right, let's go up at Costa. Good night. All right. All right, beautiful. Mm. Both of you beautiful. Okay. <laughs> this call was brought to you by the Lone World Order. Uh, so you know, this was something that we had promised. I, TLI, I might have been on stream with you. I don't remember, but mm. my court case came up, and, and I was supposed to do the court case video. Um, so we're going to quickly do, like, it's the, the story of Cheater Pop. How how it came about, and then end with uh, with my court case with my stalker, Lady Lorne. Um, Full life. <laughs> yeah, so it'll, it'll just play us through here. Once upon a time, you were the man. Now you're the manager. You used to run these concrete streets with an iron fist. Now you reserve the corner conference room with a dry erase marker. Life came at you fast. Now it's time for you to come harder. Come all over this city's face. Responsibility made you step back. Now it's time to step up. With hints of leather, bacon, and gunpowder, we bring the man. And you bring the plan. Because your days belong to the office. But your nights were made to step up. Right on. Mm. That was good. That was really that was really <laughs> good. So uh, first things first here. This was the actual Craigslist ad that I posted for for Cheater Pop. I didn't want to say exactly what it was, um, but you know, real real important here. I, I did specify there was no nudity. This was not an adult film. Uh, that I was looking for all body types, personality overlook, and fifty dollars per hour. So I was like, you know, I was, I was paying, uh, and I got oh, a yeah. lot. I got a lot of um, a ton of responses, but Crystal, this this Crystal girl, she had the best responses. And when I asked them what their favorite reality show was, and she said Cheaters, which you know uh, what I was doing, Cheater Pop, by saying her favorite show was Cheaters, I just felt like she was the perfect can she also her email was really unhinged and i thought oh perfect this is perfect. <laughs> and so and so this and this was the intro to cheater pop and the reason why this is here i just a couple seconds because Did uh, one, can't make this no this was a good um a, a good animator that i had hired um this guy <laughs> put effort you know what i mean like went to school um he didn't tried get, basically didn't get tombstoned on the Broken glass by Carl Weathering. Uh, so this was the intro. This was the intro to the show, uh, and, and the reason why I'm playing this is because I did make uh, one of the guys sing this actual theme song uh, during Cheater Pop. Partner stepping out, their love has flip flopped. Just give us a case, we'll put them in their place when they get Cheater Popped. Jay. So this is uh this is Cheater Pop here. He's got some yes and no buzzers in front of him. So we would do trivia. Uh, there would be a talent competition. We would go over their chat log, and this was, this is the the this is Crystal here, the one who was hired to do Cheater Pop. We are across the street from a church, and he is here to pick up a prostitute. So it's a felony because it's across the street from a church. Now we were supposed to, every every is that time, a felony if it's by a yeah, church? Yeah, we were supposed to uh, meet at Starbucks every time but i would right before they were supposed to meet i would message them and accuse them of trying to get me caught because i'd say oh i just saw my neighbor are you trying to get me caught are you are you what are you what are you doing and they i would freak out and then they would say oh okay i'll where are you i'll come meet you and, and i and this is where we'd end up meeting and that's where the cheater pop would happen <laughs> so this guy had to think sing the uh, cheater pop theme song are you ready to sing the cheater pop theme song Yes. If your partner's stepping out, they're loving this flip flop. Give us a case, we'll put them in their place when they get cheater popped. Yeah. When you hear those words that you deserve, you've been cheater popped. Oh, hold me up here. Ready? You've been. 
So this guy had driven two hours. Uh, told his wife that he had two a conference, hours. and he drove t- I, every. So we would set the meeting to be earlier in the day, and I would keep pushing it back so they would end up in rush hour traffic. <laughs> <laughs> every, every time. So this guy drove two hours, told his wife that he had a conference, brought a hundred dollars in ones because he was he wanted to make it rain on her, uh, and Mike's hard lemonade because I would always have him bring Mike's hard lemonade and a bondage kit. And the idea was he was supposed to pick her up here and then take her to some random ass condo, and they were gonna bang there. And he insisted on unprotected sex with this with this woman. Hmm. What, let's see your finger up like a like you're really finding the note. And there's just people walking by, like there's like, this, <laughs> there's like stuff going on. And I would he I kept telling him or one more thing and then you can go. I had him here for two and a half hours. God damn. You've been cheater pa I like that. All right. That was that was great, Jay. You know, I really, really like that. Um, but I want to hear it again one more time. And let's just really put some energy into it. And Sherry, if you could not fuck this up this time, oh. if you could just be an asset. And- They're stepping out. They're loving his flip flop. Give us a case. We'll put them in their place when they get cheater pie. It doesn't it matter. When you hear those words you deserve, you've been cheater pie. Whoa, that was beautiful. That was short because the fly. So let's take that one from the beginning. When you hear the words, words that you've been that you deserve, right, you've finger been up. cheater pie. <laughs> can you see a I know I keep fucking up a lot. I really want to see a range here. And Jake, can I tell you something? Great yeah, those are the church bells right there going. <laughs> <laughs> going around. There's also a lot of homeless people around. And so what I would do is I would walk up with the camera. You'll see it later. I would walk up with the camera. And there's always homeless people around, and I would make them think that the homeless people were undercover recording as well. <laughs> and I would wave at them, and they would wave back, and I'd say, like, my camera crew's over there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Good job. When you hear those words you yeah, deserve, deserve, you've been cheater pie. Yeah! I need you, too. Really dig down into that emotion and oh no, here comes this handsome and cheater pop. Okay, now I'm gonna need three of those on the third one. You can get up, all right? Oh shit, it's this handsome and cheater pop. And look into the camera. That was perfect. Let's get three where you look at the camera, okay? Right. Holy shit, it's this handsome and cheater pop. <laughs> oh my god, you get them this handsome and cheater pop. <laughs> well, let's stretch out that oh my god on the. Oh my god, it's this handsome and cheater pop. Can you do like a home loan, like a. <laughs> He says three, but it really try. means like six or seven. Good. Oh my God, it's Dis Hansen and Cheater Pop. Cheater Pop! That's the last one. Well, then you're done. You get, you're a terrible director. I'm going to give all of this up front. He's like terrible, having a good time now. He, no, you should he see the other guy. why he's here. The, the last guy that I have seen, he like starts dancing. He really gets into it. I have him sing a <laughs> Steve Perry song, and he loves this shit. Man. Right. Oh my God, it's just him. Oh my God, it's Dis Hansen and Cheater Pop! <laughs> What? I don't know why. Why did he do? Why did he do the home alone? Well, I told him to. But so the whole the whole thing was, look, uh, I've got this chat log. I know you did. I don't want to have to put this video. I don't like. I'm gonna put this video out. But like, if you stay, if you hang out and play this and play this game, I'm gonna blow your face. That's it. Like, hang out. So, it's, and- so he's not getting out of it. No, he's not getting, no, no, he's not getting out of it. You're you're cheater popped regardless, but I'm a hide I'm a fucking hide your face. Oh, and and like you'll you'll also see later if you if you do the trivia. So like each round got something taken away. Like you do the trivia, and the chat log will never be released. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So each round was a different. So that's why they would stay because each round gave them. Something. Tank Abbott has fell on hard times. <laughs> Tank that's Abbott. Not right. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, and then every time do they would thank me at the end. I'm sure you may or may not get it, but seriously, like, I appreciate. I it. hope you do mean that. It's it's not always easy. Not always something to be proud of. We are so. The, and then this was a uh, this was my favorite guy. This guy actually told me he wanted to hang out afterwards. Uh, he had spent over the previous two years. He'd estimated ten thousand dollars on prostitutes and sugar babies. He'd been blackmailed so many times he couldn't count. 
and still he showed up to meet our decoy. <laughs> Moving on to five burning questions. And the way five burning questions, oh, and before, while I say five burning questions, I need you to kind of like move your hands like oh, okay. flames, flames, not you, oh. flames under your, yeah, five, bur All right, perfect. Um, I'm going to ask you, these are questions based off of either your, your chat or email um, or, or just observations. Sure. So this dude worked in a, every time, whatever their job was, I would say that her husband also worked that same job because it just made it really, <laughs> it just made it really easy. And so this guy worked in IT, so her husband worked in IT. Oh, and that, okay. way, that way I could try, anytime I would start, I could be like, I'm going to pull back. I, I'm nervous. I think you might be a plant. You're trying to trick me. You're trying to catch me. And so every time you would, they would, I would pull back. They would work. So I pulled back from this dude, and he sent me his LinkedIn. It was going to give me his Facebook password to verify that he was. Uh, God damn. Yeah. No bullshit. Here's my. Here's it. Let me. Let me give you. A, okay. If you will. Uh, I visited prostitutes before. What the fuck? Okay. And I need to. Therefore, speak up too, I visited. Well. I visited. I've been with prostitutes. Okay. Okay. I hope that's they, really risky behavior. Uh, uh, the issue with prostitutes is, as much as they might like me or vice versa, there's no, there's no. It's, it's all vice versa. No, <laughs> they don't like you. <laughs> his whole his whole interview is great, but um, yeah, like some of the things that this dude says, he really did open up to me like I was Barbara fucking Walters. Uh, and like at part for like thirty minutes, there's a home right back where that white truck is. There's a homeless person back there, just screaming, just screaming, <laughs> while this guy is just talking to me about like his kids and how often he cheats and like this the sexually transmitted diseases. He's like just crazy shit. God damn. So no, there's no back and, and forth. Perfect. I want to actually bring up something that you wrote. Sure. You said. I thought you were a mean. If I thought you were a mean or abusive person, I would for sure have picked up on that. I can tell you're a loving, sweet woman who's just feeling stuck and underappreciated, mm -hmm. underloved, and underfucked. Mm -hmm. That was me you were talking to. Whoa! You gave, gotten lazy. You gave, you gave LinkedIn gay. information. Yeah, well, here I'll tell him right now. You gave LinkedIn information. Mm -hmm. How hard would it have been for her or me right. to go to everyone on your LinkedIn? Hey, guess what this guy's doing. Yeah, yeah. Guess what he's doing? Let me show you his picture. Let me show you his chat log. Let me. That's a crazy and then what thing happens? to share. Because he, he was sending dick pics from his office, and like just putting his dick in front of his computer screen. And like so, yeah. Ah. And then he had been blackmailed many times before. He, when when he sat down with me, he was like, "So, is this going to be a money thing?" Like he wanted to know up front, like how much is this going to cost me? <laughs> just your dignity, Bob. Because I have an account for this. <laughs> it's just going to cost you your dignity. Uh, yeah, then it's not personal, it's professional. Uh, and I would right. imagine at 55, the last thing you want to do is go start over at a fucking Best Buy because you couldn't keep right. your dick in your pants or hiring prostitutes, right? right. People are going to look at you, they're going to want you around their kids or their benefits. wives or their what's that? Best Buy has great benefits. They all right, so right. company functions. Bob's not getting invited to my fucking Kwanzaa party. Okay. Um, number four, when we spoke about arrangement, you said you were going to be paying her with gift cards. <laughs> Or that was your idea. Now, when I say that out loud, mm -hmm. do you understand how ridiculous that sounds? Um, you were going to yeah. pay for her vagina with gift cards. Fucking Ooh, back Google to Play. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> she got that Google Play pussy. I pay with gift cards. Google Play pussy with my gift card. What do you think of that? I mean, it was good, but again, an another dollar into another Google dollar. Play pocket. I don't know why you keep you writing that, music while we're money. under the contract. You got that Google Play? <laughs> I love money. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say money. Okay. Can you look at the camera and say, guys, don't pay for vagina with gift cards? Guys, don't pay for vagina with gift cards. <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's embarrassing. If you were to consider all the money that you've wasted on sex. Yeah. You said you have teenage kids. Are they going to college? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that money could have been. I mean, if you would have put a thousand dollars of this fuck money into bitcoins, like a year ago, it right? Really smart. It would have been really smart. But instead, could be banging right now. <laughs> While well, you're talking to me, that was the other, that was the other thing too. He was like, "My wife's at home making meatloaf for dinner. How Damn. much longer is this going to take?" I'm like, "Your wife is at home making meatloaf, and you're out making here you 
a succulent meatloaf. <laughs> do it. Do it. Got the gravy. Hold on. Hold on. Do she make a potato side? Bob, I'm coming home with you. That's what I should have did. Oh, my God. Do a Matt just following him home? <laughs> <laughs> you should have got a slice of the meatloaf. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I won't tell her if you just go in there and grab me slices of meatloaf. Bob, Bob, let me ask you this. Do it got mushrooms? Because you know your boy <laughs> like meatloaf with mushrooms. <laughs> he invites you over for dinner. I mean, that that would have been a good show. You should have done that. You'd be like, I won't tell your wife that you fucking prostitutes if I get to get you invite me over for dinner and you don't tell her what's going on. Step one, you're cheetah pop. <laughs> Step two, I'm Here's coming to dinner. my black friend I'm inviting you over for dinner. Yeah. Just... My black you friend suck- I never mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, and just staring at her without breaking contact. Yeah. Like a succulent meatloaf, Miss Bob. <laughs> yeah. You used to go there and make the whole evening awkward for everyone. <clears throat> Into vaginas and buttholes. And and I'm assuming mouths. Don't make that face. He probably put it in a butthole, right? No. Nah. It went near a butthole. It went near a butthole. Near. Round two is trivia. Okay. For competing in trivia, you and... Well, so there would be tri- two... Normally, there'd be trivia based on their chat log. Because I wanted to prove... They would always pretend, oh, this is a relationship. They didn't know shit about her. Uh, and then they would also do TV trivia, where I would ask questions about, like, family matters. <laughs> I would ask questions about family matters and different sitcoms, Lifetime and movies. Notes. No, uh, no, Lifetime movies and, and basically Lifetime movies and family matters. Uh, that would be the bonus rounds. Do you just have family sure matters you're... on at all times in, in <laughs> your house in no, real no, life? I just, no, I just, I know TV. It's his trivia. little house in the prairie. Exactly. Yeah, from, <laughs> imagine, like, you just have the box set of family matters I've, and you just have it on repeat in your I've house. Seen, I've seen season two and season six. That's, that's oh. <laughs> what more do you need? Those are the good ones. Chat log will be forever deleted. See, that, okay. All right, I so said do trivia and your chat log will forever be deleted. See, that's a good, is that's, that something? that's a good prize. Right, yeah. You're interested in. Yeah. Here we go. Absolutely. Don't tell me. Tell the buttons. Yes. All right, let's try that again. Don't tell me. Tell the buttons. Give me a Y. Give me an E. Give me an E. And, yeah. then, we'll, and then one more time. Are you interested? I am interested. And I like then how you blurred his face out. Sorry. However, pause over the button. to the right, you saw his face clear as day. <laughs> Don't tell We'll do that, that thing like where they go to commercial, right? Right? We're watching. Now pause. Yes. Perfect. All right. Number three. Yeah, yeah. What is Sherry's favorite song? Uh, I'm really bad at this game. I'm usually really good at trivia too. It's the Steve Perry song "Oh Sherry," where her name was given to her. He put that in there. I, did. I do not remember that. Oh Sherry, oh, 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 oh. I definitely don't remember that. What is Sherry's kink and the reason that her husband has a problem with her? Jerry's kink is being tied up. All right now, Bob, you see the issue here. You knew nothing about Sherry other than uh, the fact that she wanted part. to get signed up. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. when you tell me that it's not sex related, and I tell you you're bullshitting me, and you tell me you're not, and you're like, no, I'm not that guy, Bob. You're that fucking guy. <laughs> Bob, right. look at me. Yeah. You are that fucking I, guy. I guess I'm that I'll guy. Say it. I'm I, that fucking I'm guy. That fucking guy. Yeah. And then the last question, yeah. and this should be an easy one. What does Sherry's husband do for a living? It was uh, her reason for being concerned. It's not real estate. Come on, bro. Are you being fucking real right now? No, Bob? I don't. I don't Bob, understand. he works in IT for 10 years. Bob, what do you do? Oh, right. That's right. That's right. I work in IT. That's right. That's why she was yeah, so Bob, worried. Like you, so, you yeah, 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 yeah. With your score of... All, man. That's <laughs> well, you see, he forgot he works at IT because he just says <laughs> dick pics all day while he's there. So Yeah, dude, this, this man was having, like, all eventually actually edit these this man was having prolific one out of five of paid sex like a lot a lot of paid sex would you say that what you were coming here to do today was sex based or you were looking to build a relationship with a lovely young woman who's 30 years younger than you yeah so i think we have to agree that i was coming here for sex based relationship yeah and a bonus question okay how many kids does sherry have two so you knew that. He knew you had two brats, and then he wanted to tie you up and bang you. Uh, anything other than that, he didn't know. Mm-hmm. All right. So, all right. So that was that was Cheater Pop. Uh, long story short, I got sued. Uh, it cost me before I ever put a video on YouTube. It cost me ten thousand uh, dollars 
I was, Who sued I was, you? It was the actually the website that we that we were using to find the married men. It was and it was sued for a breach. Sorry, sued for a breach of terms of service of usage of their site. It was a bullshit lawsuit. Uh, any of the men would have had to go to Nevada to fight the case, but I had just started my consulting business and I didn't want to deal with it. So the 10K was just to get the lawyer to like deal with all the bullshit to get it dropped. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so Cheater Pop never happens. Crystal and I go our separate ways. We we did like six episodes, didn't, didn't talk to her again until October 2019. Uh, she hits me up on Facebook. We hang out a couple times, you know, quote unquote dating. And then Halloween, she hits me up. She's supposed to come over to do, and and she she tells me that she's not going to because she did some coke stepped on with meth. Like it's just the most normal thing. Even in, I with just the thought fellow, he was. Wait, what is this? So she she's with her roommate. This is the message I got. I'm staying quiet, messing you, and checking in. I didn't know what what he was giving me, but I'll keep checking in. Don't worry. She, this is how she told me that she had just done some coke and meth, and that's why I she thought he was clean meth. aside from the coke. Yeah, and then she figured out it was found out it was stepped on with meth, as you do, and said it stepped on with meth. So I kind of needed a pep talk about how I need to focus on finding my own place. I wanted weed, and he said it was here. Lol. What? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> yo, okay, well, I'm done. I'm done, right? Like, okay, I'm done. And she did not take that well. She started showing up at my house, uh, calling me from... She would go to, like, random places and ask people to use their phone and call me because I blocked her. But, yeah, you'll, you'll see her. Uh, this was... So this was just two days later. And she... this You know, we need to talk. She showed up at my house. I told her never to do that again. She messaged me later, like, I'm going to show up at your house again tomorrow. She's talking about the thousands of emails she's sending. Oh, here's... Uh, I'll leave you my money, vape pen, and Norco prescription. Like, what? Why do I want those things? You wanted those things. Come Why on, do I man. want those <laughs> things? Uh, and so this went Just on. leave the Norco prescription. You can keep the rest. This this went on for, for months. And, you know, like her, she would stop contacting me for a week or two. I would think it was done. And then she would just randomly show up at my house or a blast of emails would start coming in again. And, you know, here's, I actually did respond to her at, at one point early on. I did respond to her and like, you, you show up at my house. I told you, I don't fuck with drama. I don't deal with this shit. You, go do your meth. Go do your thing. You're not like this. This isn't going to happen. And, and it's very Lorne like her responses. There's a lot of, I believed in you. You don't believe in me. Uh, my grandma, even my grandma knows that you should forgive me because she always has to co-sign it with other people. Um, there was well, a, this text is weird. the good that I know I am. You will see it in your heart. What is she fucking going on about? Well, yeah, that's um, it, it, this is Lauren like that you'll see it in your heart. All I want is what you want. Trust, communication, safety. I am so sorry. I am at the friend Danny from Safeway who could only take a few boxes. I didn't know I hurt you. <laughs> like, just, what? Just, I, yeah, yeah. And, and again, I had, so I just wanted to be left alone. That's it. I'm getting away from it, the drama. Yeah, she's getting away from it. And this is, so then she went and got a free, went to freephonenum.com and started get, and started sending me, because I had blocked her, so she started using this to send me more messages. Pr please prove to me you're not like everyone else. Um, I know we're, we're coming up on the, uh, and then, yeah, so that was October. Okay, it's still going on in, in early, in December. This was a suicide baiting. She was going to she was going to end herself because I wasn't responding responding to her. Uh, then okay, then New Year's Eve. There's a there's a whole story. I have a video about all of this. On, I'll link in the description. But uh, she shows up at my house again, claiming that she was assaulted the night before. Not what happened. There was a dog. There was a dog stabbing. It was a whole thing. The dog did, did live, but uh, yeah. So Wait, then the she, dog was actually stabbed. Yeah. So. Real quick, she was now, she was man. living she was hold on I was she was living with the with this woman who had two adult grown sons who had to live together in the woods because they're both registered sex offenders. What? So so the old woman was going out of town for New Year's to go be with her RSO sons in the forest, 
and told Crystal, I'm leaving for the weekend, no visitors. And so 30 minutes later, someone knocks on the door, Crystal opens the door, and there's a bloody woman standing there holding a knife. And so Crystal's like, well, come on in. And yeah, uh, Naturally, yeah. And so the, the woman comes in, and she's like, I'm really tired. And Crystal goes, oh, well, you could sleep on the kitchen floor under the table. And uh, long story short, she had gotten into an argument with her husband, the, the, the woman, and stabbed the dog while trying to stab the husband. The dog tried to defend him, and the dog, the dog lived. Uh, but And the police came and got the woman, arrested her. Crystal didn't know what had happened. She just thought that there was some abuse going on. So she went over to tell the man what she thought of him. And one thing led to another. They had some tequila shots, and then they banged. What? Yeah. And then the next morning, she messaged me, and she's like, LOL, such, rape is such a funny word, LOL. And then she showed up at my house, like, two hours later. She's like, oh, I was raped. I was like, what? She's like, yeah. Well, let me tell you what happened. She told me the whole story, and I go, well, it sounds, and she's like, and, you know, and I woke up the next day, and I kind of feel like, well, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. He's married. I said, well, I, that doesn't sound like you were assaulted, though. It just sounds like you regret what you did. And so this is, so then she's posting about how she's mad at me because I, I neglected her. And I told her to never, if she showed up at my house again, I was going to call the police on her. Uh, and then, so they just, it just continued. It just continued. Oh, and so then the cheater pop video we just watched, she sends me this in January and she's talking about like just memories of cheater pop just randomly after she would tell me, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. I hope you die. And then the next day be something about, I hope one day you buy me a bracelet with my name on it. <laughs> and we're almost to the, uh, to the court case. Oh, th this, this. Sloth Cat, will you please read this? <clears throat> Dude, I had a dream. I was in this sexy white lace dress with a slit up one leg. Damn. Waking up in my birthday suit had me feeling a little informal. It wasn't a wedding gown. It was a sleigh dress where my future put up with me partner at about to start emailing Lauren Armstrong <laughs> to be my car and savior. I wonder what he gets for income being behind bars. That dress explains why I wanted to sleep in. I want to wear it again. I felt so pretty, like cheerleader. <laughs> and you wrote that to her. <laughs> what? I feel pretty, like cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. This is what you wrote to her, Wes? No, yeah, she, this was, she, she wrote this. She, she posted this, this on her you. Facebook. What? This was not to me. We were not. This was months after. I had last talked to her on October 31st. This was three. This was months after. And she just posted this on her Facebook. Like, what? no one on her Facebook what? knows anything about Lorne. She doesn't know anything about Lorne. It was just such a weird, weird thing to post. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you play life on nightmare difficulty. <laughs> Wes picked nightmare difficulty okay, before he was born as a soul. Okay, and this is what happens. Okay? Well, to be fair, I am a reincarnated puppy. So. <laughs> there was a Wesley dog. That... All right, we're. Uh, I, I like this one, February. So this was, this was um, not long before I ended up having to call the police on her. No, no matter how you spin it, a relationship is a choice for better or worse, sickness and health. It That's marriage. Yeah. Yeah, it was three. It was three. <laughs> it was three weeks. Uh, but she's so mad. I didn't decide to ignore you and get my. She also blames me for what she alleged happened on New Year's Eve. Say, well, if you would have been with me that night, nothing would have happened to me. So that's your fault. <sighs> yeah. Um, and then just more. Oh, she tells me I should, like, how can you spend time with your kid, but you don't have time for me? And, uh, yeah, so then she and she got arrested uh, in uh, in March for stalking me while Muse was at my house. Uh, she was arrested for stalking me. And what does she do when she gets out? She contacts Heisenberg and Baked Salmon to try and get them to make exposed videos about me. <laughs> She contacts she contact Heisen well Baked Salmon first, 
And then she contacted Heisenberg, uh, and she was telling him how. And so Heisenberg, who I didn't even really know at the time, he gets a call from the police here who want his help setting up a sting so they could arrest Crystal again. And so he tells her, oh, yeah, I got a camera guy out there who is going to take your story. Um, where are you right now? And she doesn't want to give her information of where she is. He's like, no, no, I, my guy's out there. And like Beaver, he's like, hey, get, tell me some city names. He's like, yeah, my guy's out there. So she gives him the information. And that's how she got arrested for the second time uh, was because of Heisenberg and this <laughs> this fucking sting with local police. Uh, and she doesn't understand. So this was great. So after she's arrested, she's talking about how this guy that she's dating is being a bitch. And someone told her, well, um, just let it go. And she's like, no, I'm going to work out. I'm going to get my hair done. And she, her whole idea was at court, I was going to fall in love with her. She was going to pretty woman your ass. No bitch won't even see it coming. I'm working out and I'm getting my hair done. Going to look pretty. By May, I'm not even going to be the same. So, okay, so she was supposed to show up to court yes. looking all different, and you were just uh-huh. going to be like, your jaw was going to drop to the and floor. I'll drop the charges. <laughs> drop the jaw drop, and I drop the charges. <laughs> um, and, okay, and then my Muse video came out. When my Muse video came out, she was so, so mad. So mad that there was a woman that had been living in my house. Wasn't mad that some girl accused me of human trafficking or any of that shit. She was mad because there was someone in my house while she was dealing with her own shit. And so she sends me all these messages that I didn't know about until later. And she's saying, like, please don't message. I'm not reading your messages. And I never even responded. She just kept going, I'm not going to read your messages. I didn't harass you. That's why the charges. So the charges were dropped because it was COVID. And they never sent me the information about when court was, so I missed it. So they automatically dropped the the initial um, from her initial arrest. They automatically dropped the restraining order. So it was just a temporary restraining order initially. And so she thought in her mind that meant she could come back and continue harassing me because it was dropped the first time. So this was this is what happened. Everything's fine. Like the Vince shit's over. Everything's over. And she sent me this message saying, "Check your Instagram. Tiny penis having ass." I don't have Instagram, so I don't know who she messaged. <laughs> I don't know who she messaged. I don't, but she contacted my dad. Uh, she contacted my mom, and she contacted my my ex wife on Facebook to wow. have hearts to hearts with all of them and tell them about how. I was the reason for her downfall, how I marginalized her, how I hurt her. Ridiculous, crazy shit. And and just out of nowhere. And she's like, I'm going to expose you. And I'm like, please. You said you're going to be a chapter in her book. Yes. Is there a book? Yeah. Like well, a real book? Or she's yeah, every local every local is writing a book. Muse, Vince, they all claim they're writing a book. And every one of them also says, I'm going to get a chapter. And I've yet to see a book. I've yet to see one come out. Well, you can't um, hide. She won't let you. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah they, that line was getting tiny ass. Um, I, again, I don't have an Insta- I don't have an Instagram. So, yeah, she blamed me for everything. Uh, but you she, do have a tiny penis. Well, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that, that part, yeah. That. I, so, um. <laughs> And, and and this is when it starts. She started up again, and she's like, I'm going to expose you. And she started going to channels and talking about how I abused her. And I, like, I used, like, all this crazy shit. And I have months and months of receipts, and I never talked about her because I don't want to talk about this shit. But she forced my hand. She forced me to make a video, and then it led to so much things fucking up for her. But anyway. So now we're in court. Uh, so so after attacking me more and contacting my ex and contacting my family, I filed. Well, I put out the first video talking about my stalker, and it had like fifteen hundred views. And someone contacts me on Twitter and they said, "Hi, I just saw your video. My brother is dating Crystal, and she's knocked up. Please, can you help?" 
and I'm Uh-oh. like, yeah, I thought she, I thought she was full of shit. No, <laughs> Crystal was pregnant with this a much younger man's baby, and they had just saw my video and found out that Crystal has, at the time, six restraining orders against her. <laughs> which I found out while doing research for the video. So after the first video comes out and they see my video, Crystal gets kicked out of their house. Her life completely, because she, she wouldn't leave me the fuck alone. Her, her life gets thrown completely out the window and she keeps coming at me again. So that's why, and then I end up having to go and get this restraining order. Uh, we went to court the first time. She asked for a continuation so she can get a lawyer. It was extended out two weeks. And here we are. This is the court case. So I hope you understand why we kind of had to run through the cheater pop yeah. thing to get to where we are. So here we are. Crystal okay. is here. Okay. All right. Can both parties go ahead and raise their right hands? Um, may I interject? No. Go ahead and raise yeah, your right she's hand. She's already interjecting. I don't have counsel. They are meeting with me tonight. Okay. Ma'am, we're proceeding today on the hearing. Go ahead and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear and affirm that any testimony you give today is the whole truth? I do, Your Honor. Okay. Ms. Um, my attorney uh, What? <laughs> my attorney said that uh, I should ask for a continuance. Um, I still have my hand up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still under oath right now. Yeah. yeah. I, right, but ma'am, I already granted you a continuance before. And I, I was able to obtain... Um, an attorney. Um, she was unavailable until tonight. Um, okay. Her name's so, Joseph ma'am. Townsend. If you want to give, they never told me to put my hand down. I'm not putting it down. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep it up like I'm up like the police pull me over, and I'm right. not doing so anything. I'm not like reaching it. for nothing. Yeah, until I get further instructions, I'm just going to sit just like this. Sworn in. So, Mr. Wesley, you already were sworn in. You can put your hand put your down, sir. Hand down. Ms. Go ahead and raise your right hand. If you want to participate in the hearing today, you need to you need to be sworn in. I thought by law that I was allowed counsel. No. You are allowed to obtain counsel. You were given the opportunity to do so. And did, and today was the day set for the hearing. If you're if you need to have um you know either an appe attorney appearing today or you need to proceed without an attorney today. May I may you you gotta hear these mini syllables she starts doing. I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Right. <laughs> hold on, hold on, you'll hear the mini syllable. Um, you know, either an attorney peering today or you need to proceed without an attorney today. May, may, I, may, may, I, may, may I take time to call her right now so she can call? Um, so I can have um, an attorney? So I can have um, counsel? Okay. <laughs> I will... <laughs> Christ. The judge is already done with this. She's and like, I'm, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, I, I was worried because I just wanted this shit over with. Right. I already, the first time I had to do this, it was on my kid's birthday. And, like, oh, and then okay. it, got ex, it got extended out. I had like a really important meeting I had to do right out. I just wanted this shit done with. I didn't want it extended anymore. But Crystal was doing an amazing job. She's coming across hey, really I'm... normal and sane. <laughs> Well, Clobber and I had a bet on uh, on if she would, how long she would last, and if she would get like we had a bet going on on how she would perform, and she did not disappoint. We'll take one other case. You may call this, your this attorney, means. but we're proceeding on the hearing today. Okay, okay, thank you. I'll be right back. Mr. Fox, appreciate your patience. We generally will allow an attorney to. Appear. I'm going to take one more case, and then I'm going to recall this matter. All right, I'm going to move on to. All right, I'm going to recall number six. Okay, Ms. is your attorney going to appear? The appointment was for counsel, and um, unfortunately, because the appointment's tonight, I I am unable to get the counsel right now before court. Um, I have a statement, so I will read what I've prepared. Oh my God. I'm, I'm just not as prepared. Right now? <laughs> <laughs> wait, yeah, right wait, wait, this is like a pre what is this? What's happening? No. The iPhone. They're just these were other people. These were other people because it was this COVID, so this is how all court was, and you just had to wait your turn. And so, so whatever. Everybody name, just sit around watching each other's case. You're gonna, you're gonna see this woman up in the top right hand corner. She is a big fan of Crystal, and you will see what I mean. You will see what I mean in a little bit. 
Okay. So, okay, first, so stop. Everybody stop talking. Everybody stop talking. I haven't said a fucking word. I haven't <laughs> said a like goddamn thing. Okay. This woman. <laughs> okay, Ms. You've already been sworn in, correct, sir? Yes, sir. I have. Okay, can you say your name for the record? Okay, so Ms. Can go ahead and raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear and affirm that any testimony you give today is the whole truth? Yes. Okay. I am All right. swear. Oh, okay. All right. Now, everyone, please, no comments until I. She's still the only one talking. <laughs> call you to speak, okay? All right. So, at the last hearing, um, both parties were present. Ms. you requested a continuance, which I granted, and I set this over two weeks. And I told um, Ms. That he needed to file his proof of service, which he did, and that showed. So the only way that I even knew where she was to the only reason this was able to happen was because her family contacted me. They gave me the address to have her served because oh, they they wanted her served, like they wanted this shit taken care of. They realized how dangerous that she was. So when they knew that she kept it, because they kept, they kept seeing her attacking me on Twitter, and they were like, "Hey, how about you focus on being pregnant with my brother's fucking baby?" Instead of stalking yeah. this West guy, and she'd be like, "Fuck you! This is why you're never gonna see the baby. She, she's gonna grow up." Any, oh, and also, uh, a year ago, Crystal here, mother of the year, was arrested <laughs> and charged with reckless endangerment and DUI and resisting arrest, uh, and is looking at uh, eight years in prison. Oh, cool! Just had another baby though. So she got her shit together. She got. She's got her shit. She just needed. She was in some bad habits. She just needed to get out of it. Um, and once I trotted my ass out there, I knew that things would be better. Her reviews, do her reviews that she writes about, like these shitbag motels, no. are so good. They're so because she like expects the writ service at like a motel too, uh, and it's, it's, it's pretty. <laughs> it's like, no one, no one's looking for reviews of Motel Six. You know she, what you're getting. She you're... reviews McDonald's locations and tells people why they shouldn't go to that particular McDonald's. <laughs> And where there's a better one in the vicinity, like it, yeah. The meeting was served on February 9th, and both parties were advised of this hearing. Ms. Ding did not file a response, as I told her that she needed to do. I understand that you have a brief statement that you'd like to read today, um, Mr. I did review your entire petition and I reviewed your exhibit as well. Is there anything additional that you want to highlight for me that's not contained? In so my exhibit package was like 36 pages because there was so much Damn. text messages, emails. Um, she didn't give a response at all. She just ignored it. She did nothing. She wrote this statement, which you are going to hear. This statement is, yeah. In those documents. Your Honor, I don't know if it's contained there, but I dated the a respondent for a month in October 2019 and it'll be a year ago tomorrow since she was first arrested for harassing and stalking me uh, and it's just it's continued till this day with her showing back up in October 2020 messaging me when it was very clear I wanted no contact with this person ever again to threaten me and tell me that she was going to expose me okay thank you sir okay so Ms. You can go ahead and, and how long is what you're hoping to read? <laughs> um, using specific dates, um, just straight what has happened or has occurred. Um, it, it was, hold on, hold on. The statement that you're hoping to read, how many pages is it? It's five pages. <laughs> There's no five pages. So, five so, so, five page letter. <laughs> Double spaced, at least I fucking hope. <laughs> That's a YouTube script. It's five pages. She's like, and it couldn't. She said it couldn't be condensed any further. But just wait until you hear this statement, ma'am. We're not. You're not going to read a five-page statement. That's not. That's why you need to I file understand. a response with the court because Holy then I fuck. read it ahead of the hearing. Okay. The only cases where I take like lengthy testimony are where both cases have filed documents. And it's a very close call and I need to take additional testimony to understand. Okay. So what I'm going to let you do is I'll give you about a minute. Where She's you seven months pregnant here, by the way. That's another thing. She is seven months pregnant during God this. Damn. During this. You can share anything with me that you want to that will, if you have arguments that you, that this 
um, that his petition does not qualify for a protection order. All right. Yes, I will. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, may I have lady a lady up there. Maybe... She's probably here for like a traffic ticket. No, no, this was all. You know, this woman, you'll see. She's a she. She's a fan <laughs> of Crystal. Is she uh, also Chris, a stalker? I don't know, but Crystal is <laughs> melt. She is melting down, and the whole time I want to laugh so bad, and I'm like <laughs> messaging Lockhart. We're like talking shit. I'm messaging Lockhart. I knew I won already. Like it's so clear I won mm -hmm. this without having to say much of anything. Think and kind of compose what would be best to say so I can get my point across the best that I can. I understand seconds. this is very upsetting for you, ma'am, but this is the time step for the hearing. You knew that it was, you knew that two weeks ago, you had an um, opportunity to file a response and you chose not to. And I've already set this this out a little bit in the docket. So you need um, to go ahead and just share what any anything that you, you again, the argument would be why your actions do not qualify for an issuance of a protection order or why. So the judge making it really clear. What you're about to read me, it needs to pertain only to why this protection order does not need to happen. That's it. Okay, Crystal? That's it. So this is, hold on, sorry to interrupt. But it, this is for a restraining order against her, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, because she was showing up at my house. And she's about to explain why she doesn't think she needs to have a restraining order. Yes, that's okay. all the judge wants to know is why do you, why should he not have a restraining order against you? Gotcha. Okay. With all the because I provided lots of evidence, she provided nothing. So they're saying, okay, now tell us why this this shouldn't happen. Is incorrect. Yes. So there are a lot of um, allegations in here. Um, first being that we dated. Um, I met this Miss X in. Uh, late 2017, early 2018, um, he had a, uh, he had. A... Look, this woman's praying for Crystal. She's like, oh my give, God. give her strength for her testimony. And she does it again later. But yeah, she's praying for Crystal to get through this. Oh, oh wait, you're about, to be, you're about to be so disappointed. <laughs> He was offering a job off of Craigslist um, for uh, me to sit there while older men showed up it, with under the intention. Of my I'm, uh, this is when I start laughing. This is actually, she is describing Cheater Pop in this court setting. She's, and she's making it sound like you set her up to be raped or something. Yes, <laughs> yeah, listen to how she did, because you guys, that's why I wanted you to see it. You saw what Cheater Pop was. You saw how she was enjoying herself. But listen to how she describes it. That they were going to meet me because they were married, and they were they were going to cheat on their wife. <laughs> uh, so he did a game show, and they had to sing silly songs on camera uh, or answer silly questions, um, <laughs> with the intention that they either did this or he would forward this information to their wives. Um, you have 15 more up. seconds. <laughs> this is why, this is the reason why I shouldn't have restraining <laughs> Right. Like, you're rambling on about something. Who gives a fuck? It's not relevant. How does this turn into you showing this? up at his because... house? Well, I mean, you're not listening. That's why. You just, you haven't heard that part. Hold on. You just haven't, she hasn't gotten to that part. There's all context. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So there are a lot of, um, Allegations in here. Um, oh shit! I went back. God damn it! Because I guess it's called blackmail. Oh, okay. um, no, no, no. We, um, for uh, me to no, sit West there while older men yeah. showed up <laughs> yeah, exactly it, with, under the intention that they were going to meet me <clears throat> because they were married yeah. and they were they were going to cheat on their wife. Um, so he did a game show and they had to sing silly songs on camera uh, or answer Just silly imagine anyone else in this courtroom at this time hearing her talk about this. Yeah, you're like, look at I was got in trouble for jaywalking. I have to listen to this shit. <laughs> like, I'll pay my fine if I can just get the fuck out of here right now. Questions? Um, 
with the intention that they either did this or he would forward this information to their wives. Um, he ended up getting sued for this because I guess it's called blackmail. No, and that's not why I got sued. Again, it was terms of service by the website being used, and she knows that because she saw the email. She knows all of that. But, you know, it's it's oh, cool to try and claim... it's called blackmail? Yeah, yeah, it's cool to try and claim that. But again, why does that justify her showing up at my house and, and begging begging me to be with her for months and months until I had right. to call the police and she had to be arrested twice? Um... We ended up losing contact. We hung out. We did this maybe a handful of times. Mm -hmm. I got paid for this. Um, and then we lost contact. Um, upon reconnecting in 2019. Now, the judge is about to just step away. Crystal still rants about this court case on TikTok and sometimes on, in, in other places. And her big sticking point is the judge walked, stepped away, <laughs> was paying no attention, and so she wants an appeal. She wants an appeal because the judge clearly had no interest in what she was. But just, just, just what? Um, I was already in the middle of a problem with alcohol and issues with uh, situations that I had put myself in regarding um, unsafe people and living situations this does sound like a sob um, sit speech where they just like dance around what the fuck they did this wrong. Was it's lord it's very lord like i'm telling you if i showed you her like her text messages the way she would rage and then apologize and then rage again when she was drunk me and baps called her lady lorne for a full year before any of this shit happened but this is a very lorne like story and she's not getting the judge asked a very simple question but she's gonna. She's not done with her lies yet. Yeah, I don't need to know your dating history. This yeah. is fucking get to why you shouldn't have this filed against you. That's it. That's all the judge wants to know. October 2019, where he had messaged me with the intention of wanting to date. No, she and I had told him I do not date. <laughs> I do not date. I had just enrolled in school. I was trying to stay sober. Um, it's hard to do both. I was trying to stay sober and. Um, he wanted to hang out and pursue a BDSM relationship. <laughs> oh, she said I wanted to hang out and pursue a BDSM relationship. Oh my god. Never. Fucking never. Uh, in my face. I, I just, I want you so badly. But, okay, like, but even if you did... I know. What was wrong? Uh, nothing, nothing you did was wrong and it doesn't explain why what the judge asked and this is just nothing nonsense well and the judge uh, i i'm sure the judge is not paying attention um, He's clearly like filing paperwork or scrolling through instagram well, right now i think but... it was shin who said that because she has lots of restraining orders and he thinks they were looking at her file oh and hearing her talk and you know like looking yeah here we go he wanted a submissive person um <laughs> because I was still dealing with alcohol and trying to stabilize myself. I did not have a good foundation or support system. Okay, I, thank you. Okay, thank you, ma'am. All right. Well, I, I understand. So, I it. so based upon the record and the testimony today, I am finding that a preponderance of evidence exists to grant the domestic violence protection order. I am finding that Michelle has engaged in stalking behavior. I am going to grant the protection order. All right. So, Miss, what is the period of time that you were asking for this order? Are you at, um So, I had heard the maximum that they will give in, in my state is five years. Mm -hmm. So, I asked for a lifetime because I was told that that's what you should do, but then asked for five years. That's what I, I was hoping. I was hoping for two. Your Honor, I would, I would like lifetime if possible, if not at least five years. Okay. I'm going to grant you a 20 year protection order. Holy shit. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that's, I understand you have happy. no shared residence and you do not have any shared pets oh. or any personal property. Is that correct? Correct, Your Honor. Okay. To your knowledge, Mr. Does she have access to any weapons? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So I'm going to also grant the order of surrender of weapons. Okay. That was another thing that she would do. She would go to the 
out to the desert and shoot and shoot things that she would write my name on. Oh no. Um, and like post about how she can't wait to see me again with pictures of bullet casings. God damn, all right. Look, Wes. And what weapon? <laughs> Look, okay. Turn your That's pretty goddamn ambitious. difficulty level down. Okay? <laughs> Turn it down to normal, man. Please. Well, we're not even we're not even done with uh with her with her meltdown. Does she have Your Honor, she's posted many pictures with her and guns, various semi automatic rifles uh, on social media, but I don't know exactly what type of guns they are. Okay. All right. So I will be granting the, the 20 year protection order. Um both of you can come pick that up from the courthouse as well, Ms because she was present at the hearing you do not need to serve her or you can have it you can also contact the clerk's office to have it you know you can purchase it to have be mailed or emailed to you as well okay so again recapping i will be entering a 20-year protection order it will be available this afternoon both parties need to get a copy of it from the clerk's office um it will include an order surrendering weapons and so that that weapon surrender um did not last because three days later she went out shooting again and posted on TikTok. Freedom. Freedom. Nobody can take Yeah. Yeah, except for a judge. Well, and then um someone that one of the uh Kiwi farm people uh was, was in her comments talking shit to her, which you'll see on the next slide here. Uh don't you have a court order against you doing this? And her response was, you enable an abusive man, and these comments you're leaving are going to help me in court, so thank you. And their reply, first of all, calm down, LOL. No one had a court order. You mean has, as in still does, <laughs> for like 19 more years. <laughs> and they took your guns away for a reason, lol. And then her response, I'm sorry, took my guns? I've never owned any. Actually, I have a lawyer who is going to be taking him to court. He lied about everything, and I'll be suing for emotional distress. Also, in case you don't understand the Constitution, nothing has stopped me from buying and building my own parts. You're a clown. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm sorry. She's like, I don't need to buy guns. I can make illegal ghost guns, idiot. Buy myself. <laughs> thanks. Right. If I want to murder Westmos, I will murder. Oh, and my favorite. So her first, she has her baby, and she posts the first picture of the baby on Twitter. It's the introduction of her baby to the world and it says i had my baby i hope she never asked me to piece of shit like westmos that's Aww. the post. That's, the post. <laughs> that's a good that's a good post <laughs> um and then she said uh yeah okay took my guns away lol no they really didn't baby i'm just not dumb enough to post photos or videos that would get me in trouble and he will be sued Please don't come in here trying to act like you know what happened better than me. You know nothing about me. Also, gaslighting technique invalidates what a person says. First of all, calm down. Toxic and abusive response. Yeah. Um, and then, you need to follow the order exactly. You should never contact Mr. Brooks again by phone, by email, by fax, in person, on social media. If you do, it is a violation of the protection order and you can be arrested and charged. It is a crime to violate the protection order. Never contact him again. <laughs> all right. That can... all right I don't know why you keep uh, censoring your last name. We all know it's Snipes Jr. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but I don't want people people like Blue Boy. And no right, one. right. Uh, hold on, because we're still not done. You think we are, but we're still not done. Includes this matter unless there's anything further from Mr. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh. Ma'am. I can I appeal this? <laughs> Why would you? What? What? If you are such a bad person, why in the hell would she want to not? <laughs> <laughs> can I appeal this? That should have got twenty more years added on right there. What do you mean? Why? We have no reason to talk. And. Uh, you know, you, you can consult with legal counsel about any rights that you may have. So, yes, you can consult with your legal counsel. That concludes this hearing, and the parties are free to leave the Zoom hearing. Am I allowed to still speak? No, ma'am. I'm going to go ahead and you can leave. If you don't, go ahead and leave the courtroom. And you can consult with your attorney, and you need to follow the provisions of the order. All right. Okay, I, I wish both parties the best. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. They, they, they okay. muted her. Oh. All right. All right, and that was uh, and that was the court case. That was my twenty-year court case, and then we're just gonna close out with uh, with Bob here singing "Oh Sherry," and and then that's it for tonight. You should have been gone. No question. We'll get to that. Who are you here to meet today? I came to meet Sherry. You came to meet Sherry. Yeah. How do you know Sherry? You stay right there. How do you know Sherry? I met her online. Uh huh. You see a wedding ring on you. This is not your wife. No, no, sir. That you're separated. Separated. You're separated. Yes. Can you not agree to pay this woman any money? No, there was never an agreement. There was never discussion about you paying women previously or paying her today. Uh, Please. About how long are we going to be here? Well, I mean, you planned a couple hours to spend with Sherry, correct? Uh, so, I mean, like, yeah. tell me right now that you don't have time to spend no, 15, no, no, 20 no, no, minutes no, no. with us. I, I got time. Oh, there won't be any Sherry today, and you have been cheater popped. Sir. Oh, no, I've been cheater popped. Now, say it more dramatically. Oh, no, I've been cheater popped. Now, like, surprised. Oh, no, I've been cheater popped. Perfect. I think you should also say. I have been cheater popped? You've been cheater popped. <laughs> Sorry, I said that like a question. Oh, you have been cheater popped. He's about to get into it, ready? She looks real traumatized. <laughs> what? She looks real traumatized from what you put her through. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? Just tell my wife. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not dancing for you on camera, sir. Go tell that my wife a... I tried to have sex with the prostitute. <laughs> that was that was uh, that was cheater pop. Yeah. But, oh, you know what? That's not how I wanted to close. I wanted to close. I got this new video from Jordan's brother. It's a minute. Oh, and fuck, yeah. seconds. We're gonna close out by reacting to some roaring, and then uh, and then that's it for tonight. So let's do it. Son, you gotta be <laughs> do you gotta do a better job than this. You know, I I hired you because I figured you you know you knew the trade and all that, but you've been um, it looks like I. Uh, are uh, you on drugs? Uh, it appears you're, uh, you know, you might be a little uh, crackhead junkie or something like that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, it's a bit of an alcoholic or something like that or smoking too much tobacco. I know you don't, I never saw you smoke tobacco, but anyway, um, security is going to take you out right now and, and, and then you're going to have a day to think about it because you're not going to come in here harassing uh, uh my employees and all that, you know, and acting like you're the big boss because you're the uh, son of the boss, the son of the owner, which is me. <laughs> quietly with security, and they'll take they'll take care of you. They're going to boot your ass. I, t I I gave them instructions to put a foot up your ass as you go out the door. Why is there porn music? And why? That's what the music. fuck is going on here? I have no clue. Man. <laughs> is it like a performance art thing? Like that's, what? What is what? What is it called? That, that was for like acting reel. That's his music. He always puts his own music as the uh, as the background. He makes porn music. That's well, you remember that's how Step Up was born. What's it gonna be, Playboy? You can either step up or step off. The choice is yours. Right, right on. On. Step up oh, your of game. Step up your game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Game. But what was that? What? What did we what? just watch? We just watched Jordan's brother. Doing what? What do you mean? Really, really blue boy? Yeah, come on. Has what do you mean? any of wow. his videos led to right? anything of any well, sense? Oh, okay, well, you, maybe maybe because of this one, blue boy, you're used to things that are a little, a little better. Stead on your face. Cacao. Stand on your face. Cacao. Cacao. Out in public. What's that on your face? Cacao. Cacao. That's crazy. I'm 
so lost, mm. man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Long story short, turn your life difficulty down to normal. And never give up on it. your dreams, just like boring. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. The following announcement has been paid for by the Lorne World Order. I'm Principal Williams, and I'm here to say... Bowling's not allowed, not here. No way, no way, no way, no way. We don't like bullying in school. It isn't right, it isn't cool. Our students right here at Discovery have a right to be safe and bully free. Spell it out for you. B U L O Y I N G. Bullying others isn't me. B U L O Y I N G. We should be bully free. is your style if it's your game you should know it's really lame if bullying's funny you must be delirious cuz bullying's no joke bullying's serious treating our peers respectfully makes our school a community our students here at discovery have a right to be safe and bully free bully free my job at local office i didn't get any respect hey girl this office is for man only okay sorry to bother you damn girl may i have a handful of your hair uh, let me think about it what are you planning to do with it oh then i tried step up woman with the sweet sense of things women love, plus hard narcotics, I got the confidence I needed to climb the corporate ladder. Girls be shopping. We do. We are pretty basic, but we also be suing. If you make one more disrespectful comment to me, I will rip out a handful of your hair and shove it down your throat. This girl is now a step-up woman. Wow. I am impressed. You are the new Vice President of North American Sales. Congratulations. Thank you, drugs. You really stepped up, woman. Oh, please. Step off. <laughs> <laughs> Happy woman. woman Month. Step up, woman. Feel the unlimited power of the female wolf. Oh!